gotta say, that's a pretty nice intro. All right, it says there's zero people here, so I'm, I guess I'll um, share this. I never remember how to, oh, hey black man, you say train. That was indeed a train. You're apparent, there's apparently zero people here, but I'm seeing lots of people. Hi, Jeremy, Andrew, great to see you. Um, I need to share this before it gets to uh, two, two in the weeds. And um, all right, I can't put it on Facebook because it's like the miles and transit thing. The miles and transit Facebook is like different. So it's like, ugh, I also have to type sideways. Um, we are live. Exclamation word. Oh, so many people. I'm, or at least I'm seeing a lot of texts from people. A lot of um, things. Uh, hang on, going sideways for a second. No, okay, let me just tweet that. Okay. All right, I think that's all. I mean, we can, okay, hi. I, okay. Hira. Hello world, Amnagrass, Adner, Ben. Hey everyone, Space Peanut, oh that's Jeremy. Hi, no wait, Space Peanut. Um, <laughs> uh, Jared, I'm sorry, two J names. There's a lot of like male J names, I believe. Um, okay, so people, I'm, I'm a naive person, right? When NJT calls something a transportation center, I, you know, I expect that it will have facilities, it will be open, it will exist. Um, but apparently that's not the case at Asbury Park. So here, I'm gonna go show you the doorway. Six a.m. to one thirty p.m. and then closed on weekends. And note the lunch break, <laughs> even. Um, not to mention, even if it were open, it's literally just the ticket machine, or the ticket offices rather. You literally can't see the, uh, you can't sit at the benches which have been like pushed together. So that's really nice. Um, Jules, great to see you. Um, Sovi, I, I am pretty insane, yes. Um, <laughs> hi Gary. So yeah, this place is closed. Um, and then what's more, you really, you think that like, you'll be able to sit outside of the train center? No, police line do not cross for all these benches and indeed the bike racks. Like, <laughs> you literally cannot sit here. This is Asbury Park, Adner. Um, there is a gap in the police line that I was considering uh, going through. I didn't want to, you know, that's, that could be grounds for arrest, I suppose. Um, hi, Cody. Jeremy, what rating would I give Asbury Park Station? That's a good question. I, I feel like I'm, it's, it's closed right now. Oh, let me, let me turn it back to myself, by the way. Um, also, hi, Jackson. Um, okay, hi, everyone. Um, well, let's see. I, I actually, I turned to myself right when I'm about to actually show things. So here we have the busway. There's the 317, which is now actually signed. Um, oh, people are getting on. Okay, I will do that in a sec. Uh, what time is it, people? I don't know. Um, we've got, I mean, the building is really nice, but everything's all pushed up. So I don't feel like I can really count that whole thing, you know? It has bathrooms, but they're locked behind the gate. Um, hey, Classy Whale, I'm in a video. Wow, that's fantastic. It's 350, all right, I have eight minutes. Um, thanks, Jeremy. Um, and then the station itself, high level, but served very infrequently. This is like, this is like a four out of 10 max. That's being generous. But uh, okay, I will get on the 317. Um, oh, and then I also assumed that there would be, I, I also assumed there would be like bus, you know, <laughs> vending machines. Nope, I have 2250 in cash. I'm very glad I happen to have that because otherwise I would be very screwed. Um, Cody, it's all locked because it's not a weekday but in the morning. You know, if, you don't, if you're not commuting to New York, then why would you ever need to wait in a waiting room? <laughs> yeah, the place is only open on weekdays before 1.30, and that's quite silly. All right, we're gonna get on the 317. Um, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put the phone uh, in my pocket while I talk to the driver about the fare, so I'll see you all uh, in a sec. Um, Jeremy, it scares me too, I agree. All right, see you all soon.
Hi. Hi. I'm going all the way to Philly. All the way to Philly, huh? Yeah. Yeah, go while you can, because coming Monday, we ain't going to Philly no more. I know, I heard. I love it. I love it, love it, You got to go over the bridge. Well, I lose overtime. I don't like that part, but I love uh, having to go over the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 2250. All right. I think it's all kind of bunched up, but well, let me, I gotta count it. Okay. I gotta count. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. Getting Andy Whitley, though. Sorry about that. Hold up a second. Okay. I gotta put these two here. Okay. 30 seconds. I gotta count this. I gotta make sure it's all organized and zoomed sure. in. Fair enough. So here's five and ten. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't intentionally trying to do it on the last day. No, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. Do it now cool. while you Yeah, can. exactly. Uh, you're good to go. All right, thanks a lot. You are good to go. You can have a good day. Okay. <laughs> I, what have you all been saying? Oh, I know, I did send you to purgatory. Um, yeah, I could have used the app. It's 2250, yeah. It is a, a four-hour bus ride, so I guess that's to be expected. Um, okay. Let me also, um, yeah, oh, the three, so yeah, so let me say that. Yeah, the 317 isn't ending per se. It's just, um, they're cutting it back to Camden, um, because it, like, changes to the Philadelphia Greyhound Terminal, apparently. So this is literally, literally that starts on Monday. So this is the, unintentionally, this is the second to last day that it's um, going to um, Philly. I am going to Philadelphia. I'm doing the whole thing. That's the point. It's the longest, longest local bus route on the East Coast, but I'm sure people will challenge that. <laughs> yeah, it's way cheaper to Camden. Oh, what happened with the Greyhound Terminal? I genuinely don't know what's happening, like why they're doing that. Also, let me know what side I should sit on. I'm on the right right now, but I don't, I don't know which side is better. Um, Jared, you have uh, like three and a half hours to decide. No, no dots, we can see out. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. I don't know, that sounds really fun. Um, all right, we're off. What time is it? Is it 3.58 already? 3.54? Oh my gosh, wait, we're leaving like four minutes early. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. That is insanely early. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, Anthony, this route is about, I think it's about like 90-ish miles. Uh, I'm taking my coat off, so I'm gonna be on here for a while. I think it's like 90 miles or so. Um, Jeremy, why are you choosing the longest local vert route versus 319, which has two late trips to Wild and Fortnite? Jeremy, if in the summer I want to do like the 319 Cape May one, that would be quite fun too. Although that that's like express, I don't know if that totally counts. <laughs> um, right side will get more evening sun. Um, oh, thank you, Andrew. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> this, yeah, this thing only costs $20 now. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Andrew. Um, no, Jeremy, I don't think this is Express. It doesn't have any highway segments. It's all on local roads. It makes all local stops. I mean, the one like Express thing about it is that it uses a, it uses a coach bus, you know? But I think um, that's kind of the one thing. Um, also, can you all hear me okay? Um, <laughs> Adner, yeah, I, I want to do more video ends videos. I think it's easier to do in Boston. Um, oh, Space Peanut Tour to Scepter route. The, um, the Sunday 103 is pretty short. Um, uh, Jackson, how many people are on here? There's three others. <laughs> pretty quiet right now. Um, is there a bathroom on the bus? There is not. Oh no, Amriki says a trackless trolley broke down near Harvard. That's too bad. <laughs> um, well, hopefully they'll still be around for the next however long. 
a seat review. You can't get a seat review. Let's see. Um, so I actually, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I prefer the like local NJT seats. Those kind of like really floofy ones. These are like, I don't know, they're kind of hard, but it, they do recline. This one's like pre-reclined. Um, I don't know what my scale is with, with seat reviews, but I would say like, this is like a, a seven out of 10 seat. You know, it's better than your regular city bus, but it's, it's not like insane. Um, I think there's more legroom than Greyhound. Like, I don't know. I feel like I have a decent amount of legroom versus with Greyhound, you're kind of pushed up. Also, no faith in the Pine Barren cell service. I, I'm almost certain I'm gonna lose service somewhere in the middle of this trip and uh, you'll all just have to stay here and wait for me to come back, I think. Um, that's definitely a worry. Um, Adner asks, which set of trolley do I like? The Suburban trolleys, the PCC trolleys, or the Kawasaki trolleys? Um, gosh, I mean, they're all they're all pretty great, I guess. Because the Suburban ones are also Kawasaki's. Um, they're just double-ended. Those are probably my favorite. I really like the Suburban ones. Although the, the city ones have the rear window, which is kind of fun, too. Um, the Cornwall's Heights parking trolley. Yeah, it would, but that, uh, I don't believe it's running right now. That's true, Cody. There is no outlet. I really wish there was. Um, just kind of got nothing. Yeah, see if there was an outlet, I wouldn't have to have this portable charger that I bought. Um, and uh, although Classy Will told me about a strategy he has where he'll like plug his phone into um, his computer. So I brought my computer too, because that makes so much sense. Like that's such a good idea. Um, here's a view outside right now. What flag is that? snake flag um yeah asbury park is really nice i was like i didn't know much about it coming in i didn't get that much time to spend here but i really liked it um yeah um the uh the, i mentioned the 103 because it's uh, on sundays it's insanely short i think it takes like seven minutes maybe um, Jeremy, I really wanted to go to the Silver Ball Museum, but it was like line out the door. It was really crowded. Um, so basically I told myself, okay, I'll walk around the boardwalk, I'll walk around the, the town and just, I need to come back at some point because this place is awesome. That was basically what I consigned myself to. We got a water view out there. That's pretty cool. I can also switch sides at any point. Um, probably there's like no one on here. Um, yeah, the Silver Ball Museum was, looked amazing. The, um, I, went to the, I, I went to that pinball museum, Roanoke, if you ever saw that, um, the Roanoke video, and um, like, it's just really cool. I'm terrible at pinball, but I love kind of the mechanics on those old machines, and um, you know, it's always, some, it's always been something I've enjoyed playing. Um, and like the architecture in Asbury Park is really cool too. You got, ooh, we're turning. Um, yeah, got a bunch of old houses and stuff. It's really neat. Um, yeah, that's true space being out. The 34 is definitely the shortest trolley. I wonder... Oh, we're doing like a highway interchange situation here. Um, or you could ride like the Kenwood line if it wasn't a Saturday. <laughs> Chestnut Hill East, I suppose, or like Fox Chase. Um, other short septa things. Yeah, I mean, the tw someone mentioned the 29 and the 79 earlier. Those are quite short. Um, Jeremy, all right, jug handle counter one. <laughs> we'll try to keep track. Um, oh, I got a schedule also. Um, but the problem is that like NJT maps are just completely incomprehensible. What, what is any of this? So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'll do my best to like keep an eye on the map and see where we are. Chestnut Hill West is shorter, okay. Is that run, running on weekends right now? Ooh, ooh, epic, epic bridge incoming, hang on. Well, okay, it's not that epic, but we got some boats. Pretty cool, other side. Adner, that is when the Green Line Extension is supposed to open. I have tickets booked to head to Boston for that, so we'll see. Is this really?
really out of focus. Let's see if I can put it up to the window. There we go. That's a nice view. Aaron, my spring break doesn't include GLX, so I'm actually it, I'm gonna come back specifically for it. Um, thankfully, one of my classes is actually off that day anyway, so I'm only skipping one class. Um, I know, Jeremy. I always there's that one online um, like Doug and Adrian map that I always use. Um, the Shark River. Ooh, that's pretty cool, Andrew. Um, Sylvie, I don't know why NJT maps are so awful. They, they really are bad. Um, it's like, I don't... And, like, you're supposed to use these to figure out what zone you're in. But it's like... It's, in this case, it seems like they actually have a separate fare chart. Oh, yeah. 317 fare zones. So you have to, like, figure stuff out. Also, we are deviating. I will show the deviation. So we, we just kind of turned off. Maybe we're kind of serving this this main street over here, maybe? I'm not sure where we are. Um, Beach House Brewery. Like, you know what? I could look at the map. We are... I don't know where we are. Right, the map's useless. Um, Jeremy, I don't know, we should have a counter. This is the first deviation. Do we also want to count the, um, the transit center as a deviation? Because that's kind of a deviation, too. So maybe it's the second deviation. Um, Belmar Station, okay. Which, like, I, I actually didn't take the, um... <laughs> it is a deviation in the coach bus, yeah. Um... Yeah, there are three people on board, three other people. Yeah, Cody, when, so basically when GLX opens, the record resets. Um, so it's kind of anyone's, anyone's get at that point. Um, so I, I hope to do it again. But like, yeah, when the, when the whole GLX opens, the Union Square one will kind of be you know, its own little moment when you can get a record for a very brief amount of time. Space Peanut, how many times can you ride a looping bus route around without getting off? <laughs> oh my gosh, does either guy just like get on like a, like a, a bus that's just a loop and just kind of stay on? <laughs> that, that would be, uh, that would be interesting. I don't know how <laughs> engaging of a video it would be, but I, it's kind of a funny idea. Um, so now, now we're kind of on like the Belmar Main Street here. Um, seems pretty nice. See, I've tried to stay on the Lucy before, and they kicked me off at 30th because they lay over there. Um, Sovi, here's my question. What what counts as a SEPTA station? The, the, the problem with SEPTA is that it's so nebulous about what is what. Make another turn here. Um, like, I it, pre-COVID, it was possible to do a regional rail record, but I've tried to look at it now, and it's not possible. Um, but, oh, here's Belmar Station. So like, what do you consider a set? Like, would it be Norristown Line, Broad Street Line, Market Frankfurt Line? Um, okay. <laughs> Lots of different loops people are suggesting. That's pretty fun. Um, NYC is starting fair capping. Try to hit 13 right cap and then charge the state of New York as much as possible. Ooh. Oh yeah, Jeremy, that would be fun. Is it like a is it a week pass um, type fare cap? That that would be a fun idea. Um, Cause I love uh, that Connecticut bridge video is really fun. Like the ride in Connecticut. Yeah, like what I do with Ned exactly. Um, here's the water again. Um, Thirteen rides Monday to Sunday. Okay. Um, and I could like just you know be on like Fifth Ave to take a bunch of different buses. Um, every station with a platform is set to Metro and Regional Rail, including Kinwood. Well, that would be an insane speed ride. Oh my goodness. 
the 120 bus. Is that MBTA 120? Oh, Ben, thank you for tracking me on transit app. Um, what's my opinion on fare evasion? Um, it's, you know, it's a, it's a tough situation, but ultimately, like, ultimately, um, I think it's, I think that it's, when it gets to a point where, like, the amount that you're spending to curb fare evasion is higher than the amount you're getting from fares, then you're kind of, I don't know, you're kind of missing the point at that point. It's like, people, it's, it's so much more criminalized than driving offenses and for what, um, um, yeah, Cody, um, Roanoke was, was awesome. The, the, the Pinball Museum was great. And just, they have a transportation museum there. Um, Jared, do you think you could do Regional Real on a Sunday? I'm not sure if you could. Um, every way from Philly to Trenton. So like Trenton, West Trenton, 127 bus, Ford, 19 bus. I guess that would be, that would be interesting for sure. 129 to the 127, oh my gosh. 66 to 129 to 127. Well, that sounds fun, Adner. Do you have a channel? I've never, I've never seen you before. Paco to Riverline, yes, of course. How could I forget the Riverline, the most important line in the entire country? I love the Riverline. Hey gamer Eric, um, you haven't missed much. I think we're running early. Five hours ago from Philly to Trenton by a local buses. Do you not consider the um, the four nineteen to be local? I feel like that's local too. I mean, I guess it four oh nine. Sorry, yeah, four oh nine. Um, like, does that use coach? I mean, that uses coach buses, but like, I don't know if it's. Um, I feel like it's local because it's like, you know, all local stuff. Oh, it's at the bus, okay. Um, there's a fun Beach Boys song called 409. No, I haven't seen your, your YouTube channel yet. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. It sounds really fun. Um, 19140, you're probably right. Huh. Um, Jackson, I, I, um, I love light rail. I mean, well, it depends. Because you have, like, there's kind of a weird, like, there's a weird trend. I've started, I've started referring to it as, like, light rail pretending to be metro. Um, which, actually, the Charlotte Blue Line is like, but it was before I kind of, you know, coined the term. Uh, I filmed that video a little while ago. But, like, the, um, there's, like, certain light rail lines that are, like, substantially elevated with like a ton of infrastructure and stuff and it's like hey like Seattle exactly it's like at, the, at this certain point it's like maybe you should just build a metro but we don't know how to build metros anymore apparently um, I guess Honolulu is giving it its best shot but we all know how that's going um, a path speed run would be kind of fun I wonder like I wonder what the route would be maybe like Newark Newark to World Trade Center, World Trade Center to Hoboken, Hoboken up to 33rd. Dude, get it done. That'd actually be really fun. <laughs> and it wouldn't take that long. And I want to do more videos in like the, um, in like the fastest, um, fastest like Blank Rider Alive series of sorts. Um, like, um, the, and I wanted to do Fascist Montreal Metro Rider Alive, but one of the stations is closed, so like five. Um, man, see, this is a, my, my mask is being reflected on it, and it makes it hard to read all of your comments on this uh, thing. <laughs> um, okay, wait, I think I'm missing some stuff. Um, oh, Space Peanut, I didn't, they're replacing it, the Navy Yard Extension with an AV shuttle, that is, Silly, I didn't know that. Um, Gamer Eric, I cost twenty-two fifty for this trip, so quite a lot of money. Um, I think 
Andrew, I think Jeff said he's not doing um, tube speedruns anymore. If I remember correctly. That would be fun though. Maybe if you made a cameo. Um, Cody, my backlog, I have, I have, it's funny because right now I don't really have much in the backlog, but then it's gonna like increase in, uh, in like, I, I'm doing a bunch of trips soon. So like, fastest Amtrak rider alive. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, remember when like Jeff Marshall did all the stations? Like, it'd be kind of fun to do something like that with Amtrak. Um, oh, Jeremy, that's a good point. Like, it the record is reset in New York anyway, so it would just be like, you know, it would just be, <laughs> no matter no matter what I get, it would be uh, it would be fine, which would be kind of fun. Um, there's obviously like, um, there's obviously it, you know a better time than others, but. No matter how terribly I do, it would be okay. Yeah, Jackson brings up a good point. So Jackson and I have been visiting every diner in Philadelphia and reviewing the diners and the transit along the way. Um, it is, well, I haven't started editing yet, but it's going to be a very good video, I think. Oh yeah, Jeremy. Um, we are somewhere, there's a Napa Auto Parts. There's a place called Ocean Road. Like, I don't know where we are, honestly. But, um, here's some water. We're crossing a river. If anyone with a map knows what that river is, that Beacon Boulevard is the current stop. Favorite commuter rail system in the U.S.? Um, see, it used to be Metro North, easily, because pre-COVID, Metro North had an absolutely wonderful schedule. Um, but they've kind of, they've been like totally going the wrong, the wrong kind of direction now um, of just like, you know, focusing on the, on the peak when the peak isn't really a thing anymore. Like, I don't get it. They had such good off peak service before and now they're just kind of screwing it. <laughs> um, Space Peanut, we are only focusing on factory built diners. Um, so basically that would be any diner that was like, that was basically built in a factory and shipped to a spot. Um, so that, so the Self Street Diner isn't one of those and that's why that's actually not in the video. And see the Fullcroft Diner is not in the boundaries of Philadelphia, which is why we're not doing that one. Um, that being said, if the diner video is popular, we might do, at least I'm trying to pitch to Jackson that we do one of like, every diner in like the other four counties in the SEPTA five county area. There's one in Oxford that's possible to get to using the, the scoop bus. Um, so that'd be like a total hike. It'd be really fun to get to. Um, New Haven line's decent, yeah, but it's not like, it's not what it was before. Or is, is it? Is it actually, ha is it half hourly to like both of them now? I mean, that's what it used to be. It was like every 15 to Stanford technically, even though it was expressed. Every cheesesteak in Philadelphia, that'd be insane. Um, thoughts on NJ Transit commuter rail? It's it's very interesting. Um, actually, Jeremy and I were talking about doing the doing a trip from Atlantic City to um, to Port Jervis. It would be the long, not only the longest New Jersey Transit trip, but also the longest commuter rail trip in the country, I believe. Um, so that would be very cool. Um, but yeah, New Jersey Transit, it's its so varied. Like it's probably the most varied commuter rail system in the country that I can think of. Um, so it's cool, it's fun to ride. Um, the, oh, everyone's talking about diners now. Yeah, um, a factory diner is basically just, there, there were diners that were built in factories. Um, so like literally diners have different makes and models. And so, you know, we'll go to a place in Jackson and be like, oh, this is like a Fodero diner that was built in 1965 in Newark, New Jersey. Um, and like literally transported to that spot. So you can like move diners around and whatnot. Um, so we'll, we'll probably talk about it better in the video. Yeah, Jackson, Jackson's putting in the chat now. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I agree. The quality of NJT is, is completely varied. Uh, really does depend on the, ooh. 
it's not the 317. Um, hey, Aaron. <laughs> the sights of the factory sometimes were like, yeah, that would be great. The Union County Safety Shuttle. Oh, that's the one that like gets you across the street, right? That would be really fun to try. Um, has anyone boarded or left the bus? Nope. Uh, oh, actually, I see someone up front. Maybe someone did board and I didn't pay attention. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've taken the path. Um, the Broad Street Diner is factory built. We we did that one fairly recently. Um, yeah, so there's now, there's now four other people on the bus. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> the Route 22 safety shuttle would be a really fun video. I don't, how do you get there? I don't, I don't, I don't know if I know where New Jersey it is. Um, here's what the landscape's like right now. There's some pretty nice houses going on. Um, I was really impressed with the architecture in Asbury Park. These are a little bigger, a little more richy rich, but. Um. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, the path is like. It's funny because Philly has some systems that I will like find everything wrong about, like everything about them is terrible. And then other systems are just like absolutely perfect in every way, like the river line and like the, um, well, their line isn't, but you know, like the Norristown high speed line, which Grand has like the half hour between so many days. You know what I mean? Just like lines that are really amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, Jackson, I, I, that would be really funny. I assume everyone else isn't going to Philly, given how surprised the driver was that I was going there. Um, let's see, opinions on the Broad Street line. Oh, it's it's fabulous. I mean, it's it's super overbuilt for what it is right now. So we got to extend it places, make those four tracks worth it. Um, <laughs> Loneliest 317 rider allowed, exactly game rider. Um, 40 minutes single tracking the Newark. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Wow, okay, so I definitely, when I, when slash if I do a pad speed run, it'll have to be on like a weekday at rush hour. No, Snore Kitty, they actually got rid of the, uh, the buttons at stations, which is really sad. Um, so it's, it is sadly not a bad situation. We are about to cross another bridge. Check that out. I'm doing well, Adam. Thanks. Uh, Adam, I have taken the Pittsburgh trolleys. They're a lot of fun. Um, if I ever, it'd be kind of fun to do like a video about them. I, I did a post about them on my on my blog, but um, where they were in Point Pleasant now, by the way. Um, but. Um, all right, let's see. Bus Revolution is, you know, I generally I've liked what I've seen. Um, the, it's been really fun to read the profiles they've been doing and just get info on like bus, bus stop ridership and bus ridership and whatnot. Um, oh, I, I don't think we're gonna go through the act grade. Or rather, well, I checked. I don't think we will, but I do love that. I'm going to take a drink. I bought like a water for this. This is just my, the remaining water in my bottle, but I bought like a bottle of water too. Um, yeah, Eric, I've ridden the dinky before. Um, there's gonna be an upcoming video involving the dinky, um, which actually, yeah. Um, Oh yeah, Anthony Mellos is great. That's a good one. Um, Cody, I didn't really, has the Provincetown Incline Elevator not opened yet? It was like pretty finished when I got there, but not completely. Ooh. Oh. There, there are people at a stop, but they must be getting something else because we're going straight, straight through. 
can't tie a mask here. Well, it's a long trip, Jackson. Um, do I know about the light rail system? Yeah, no, I was just saying, I, um, I wrote, I wrote about them in a post, in like a blog post, and, um, I've, so I've written the whole thing, um, but it'd be fun to do in a video. Roosevelt subway today would be tough because the 12 lane expressway. I, I guess so. Um, the, um, it, like in terms of like, yeah, the stations would be hard to like get, get pedestrian connect. I feel like you just have to build like tunnels. Ooh, we are making a right turn here. Yeah, you have to build like pedestrian connections just like over to the ends of the, of the tunnels, I feel like. Um, Adam, this bus is going to Philadelphia, but we are in, I think, Point Pleasant Beach right now. Um, so it's a lot, quite a long way. This will theoretically be quite a long stream. The only thing I'm worried about is battery power. Um, I don't... The, the charger thingy still has four bars, so... But let's see. I'm at, I'm at a whole 24%. I think it charges really slowly because I'm live streaming. Um, this part of the trip's been nice because we're just kind of in the, you know, these nice beach towns, but at some point we'll end up in the middle of nowhere and it'll be harder to keep this around. Um, better alive. No, I could never. So many deviations and also so many variants. It'd be so hard to like, be like, oh, well, the ones that they're <laughs> so. Oh man. Um. Yes, dismantle the boulevard. I agree, Sovi. Um. Yeah, Snow Kitty. I don't know what the uh, why they call it library, but. That is, that is a thing. Um, yeah, this is actually the second to last day this bus is going to Philadelphia, which is, makes it all the more fun. I didn't plan it that way, but it's gonna start going to Camden starting on Monday. Um, Cody thinks my phone is gonna die before we get there. We'll see, we'll see, because I have my computer too, because I can like plug it into that. Adam, the fare is uh, $22.50 to go from Asbury Park to Philadelphia, which is a lot, but you know, I do some crazy things for this channel. Technically $20 because um, Andrew Andrew M uh, <laughs> donated $2.50, <laughs> which I really appreciate. Although YouTube takes taxes out, so it's really like $2.25 or something. Um, Oh, Jeremy says when it gets dark, I turn my phone's brightness down. That's a good point. I, how bright do I need it right now? I mean, what if I turn it all the way down? Oh no, then I can't really see it. I can't see myself or you. So I need to turn it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, but yes, no, it is really, it would have been nice to have waited until after, um, in, it would have been better to wait until after, um, uh, daylight savings time, but now that I really know the bus isn't going to Philly after Monday, it's way better. Here we go over another bridge, almost. And there we go, we got a river. Um. <laughs> Sophie says the express tracks can't even access the Roosevelt Bowl uh, Junction. That is really funny, I did not know that. Oh, Cody, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you. So now, okay, 20, 20, 1950, or no, $19. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Cody. Um, oh my gosh, there was a bus service in North Carolina in the 50s. It took six hours to do the 60 miles because it lacked paved roads and required a ferry. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> that would have been the longest local bus route. Oh, oh we're stopping. Someone's getting off. Three people on the bus now, all of whom got on it at Asbury Park. Okay. Um, yeah, Game Rare, like, that's true. It's very expensive to go from the Port Authority to the American Dream. Um, like, 
so insanely expensive. And did they, did they still charge for parking there? Or did they get rid of that? Because I know they're like going bankrupt. Um, yeah, so Jeremy brings up that the express tracks didn't always um, go all the way to Fern Rock. So what RailWorks was, for those who don't know, um, there was a basically regional rail kind of crapped out in the, I don't know, was it the 80s or the 90s? Ooh, Jackson, there's a motel. Check out that sign. Sorry, Jackson's really into motel. Jackson has a book coming out about Wildwood motels. Jackson, put, put info about the book in the chat because it's really cool and people should pre-order it. Um, okay, anyway, I just saw that motel. Don't worry. Um, anyway, um, but um, yes, yeah, so the regional rail kind of screwed up on the, uh, the SEPTA main line. Um, so they had to basically extend the express tracks of the Broad Street Line because they um, they were basically ending every regional rail train in Fern Rock. Um, so they kind of forced people onto the express track. But honestly, the Broad Street Express is faster than regional rail anyway, so. Um, yeah, um, and the least used Antarctic station I've visited so far was Thurmond, actually, um, which wasn't the least, oh, there's a Let's Go Brandon sign, that's fun. Um, so yeah, Thurmond uh, is the least used one I've been to so far. It's not even the least used in, in, in West Virginia, which is really funny. Jeremy, there's a Googoo, a Googie Wawa. I want to know about that. Um, someone, I think someone's getting off. There might've been five people on the bus. And now that now there's three, someone just got off. Um, wow, I want to, I want to know about that. Wow, wow, wow. Jackson, text me a picture at some, or someone text me a picture. So who has my number? I don't know. Because uh, that sounds really cool. Um, Jeremy, we did. We tried to go to Sanderson. Um, definitely, like, definitely someday um, I... Well, obviously someday I'm going to go to Sanderson. It's the least used in Texas. But, um, like, it'd be kind of cool to say that for closer to the end. Or even, like, the last one. That's kind of a big ending, you know? But we'll see. Um, thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, Sovi, I I love that the Express to Fern Rock is so fast. And no, Market East, no less. Like, you're going from Suburban in the case of the, uh, in the case of the, um, the which I call it, the, the, the Broad Street line. Um, Shadow Fox, there's no one here specifically to ride with me, but there's three other people on the bus right now, so there have been five total. Um, Space Peanut, yeah, when Wawa opens, it would be really cool to visit, visit the close of Wawa from there. That'll definitely happen. Um, yeah, Adam, there's a map of the route. I think I linked it in the description of this video, I'm pretty sure. But it's the crappy NJT map, so good luck with it. And Jackson texted me too. Thank you, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, North Philly would be funny. No, Thurmond actually isn't the least used in West Virginia. Montgomery is, which is kind of funny because Thurmond's so legendary. Um, Gamer Eric, I had to sift through the ridership numbers. There are like fact sheets for each state. Um, so you kind of just go and... and um, and, and look at each one and see. Ha, <laughs> Snore Kitty, yeah, the Rod, the Rod Ridge Spur. I love how SEPTA has like all of this subway. Yeah, we're not gonna ride on Sundays. Um, Space Peanut, I know. Um, do you know when it's supposed to open? I want to go on the first sooner than I feel like. Just use um, it's like a pull cord. So you just pull up a cord to stop the bus. Thurman will ever be the least used in West Virginia again, at least just because um, uh, which I'm call it um, um. Uh, the New River Gorge National Park is like a national park now, so there's kind of reason to go, you know? Um, so that kind of, I think that would be the, that, that will increase ridership, um, because it's actually kind of a place to go now. Um, Cody, um, I, I, I would do a least use Greyhound Station if I had ridership numbers. If I could get that, I would totally do it. Um, also, for those septa purists out there, are we like are we like fans of Margaret Orthodox and Bridge Pratt? Are we are we going back that far? All right. Okay.
Okay, noted. Noted, noted, noted. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, oh yeah, okay, I see I have two bars. See, this is the part I was worried about. We will see what happens. I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, I'll, I'll upload this full thing to YouTube, so. I guess whatever happens, happens. Um, but, um, Adam, I'm on a, it's a, it's a coach bus, but it's running on like a local route. I must be choppy. I see people are leaving. <laughs> That's too bad. It's just kind of suburbia right now. I say as I point out toward this empty field. Here's a um, Wawa coming out. Um, here's the Wawa. Um, yeah, space it is interesting that like you, you, the, the, the two transportation centers next to each other is kind of funny. They are both hubs, I suppose. Um, they both have, like, facilities for buses, I suppose. Um, I guess just they're close to the end of the line, so... You know, might as well... Uh, might as well have a lot of buses terminate around there. Um, <sighs> Gamer Eric, I wish I had pretzels. I tried to get some at a convenience store and they did, they had like tiny little packs of them and I was like, they're gonna rip me off. Like this is, there's definitely no way they're charging the market value of these tiny packs. They're fine. I gave it a seven out of 10 earlier. Um, I've never been to Speedway, Cody. So I, I guess between the two, wow, well, <laughs> from what I know. Jeremy, yeah. Jeremy points out the Tri-State Mall. Um, I think they've, they've moved it now. It's somewhere else. Shadowfox, there is some, someone who's watching something, yeah. Um, but I'm being annoying, like even more annoying, so. <laughs> Jackson says the 113 can bite me. <laughs> that was a pretty silly list. Optimizer says the pause of gentry remind me to buckle up for safety. They, oh, there is a seat belt actually. I could. <laughs> I'm not going to, but watch. Now the bus will crash. Um, I have a pause and gentry poster in my room. I was on a bus, like a SEPTA bus, and there was just one like on the ground, and I just kind of picked it up because it was just on the ground and brought it home. So now it's on my wall. So we've moved away from kind of the charming seaside towns. Now we've got suburbia. Um, man, you, all right, Jeremy wants me to put the seatbelt on. I want free rain. Um, yeah, Adam, our transit's cool. Um, oh, next, okay. <laughs> seatbelt, all right. I'll do a seatbelt review. Um, can I balance the phone here? I don't think I can. Um, <laughs> trolleys aren't diners, exactly. Except diners are like descended from trolley cars. <laughs> um, you know what's funny is that um, like when when you're like coming down the steps on the trolley, um, it's like the trolleys aren't diner signs are way bigger than the step down sign. It's like really not obvious you're supposed to step down. Oh, Doug Handle? Um, no, there aren't any Doug Handles here, I don't think. It's just kind of slip lanes. Alright. Put the seatbelt on. Alright, people, there you go. Ooh. Oh, it's so tight. Oh, actually, more. There you go. We're still by the water. Sun is getting lower in the sky. I will say the steep up's very constraining. I'm gonna to take this off for now. <laughs> um, I'm not safe anymore. <laughs> Sophie, I prefer step down. I've never heard backdoor uh, D head. Uh, they, everyone says it's a thing, but. 
I've never heard it on a SEPTA bus, and I ride a decent amount of SEPTA buses. Jeremy, you forgot to step down? Oh my goodness. Oh, Jackson, no. <laughs> this is like, look, here's the thing. When, when I, maybe whatever next subscriber milestone is, maybe like 5,000 or, or 10,000 or something. If I ever, who knows, I don't know. But like, maybe I'll do the, um, the whatchamacallit, the uh, S92, which is like insanely long in terms of travel time. No worries, Cedric, great to see you. Um, yeah, Jeremy, exactly. Like some, some little buses have, have seat belts, you know, like a mini bus has a seat belt. It doesn't make it an express bus. Um, and this bus is all on local roads. I guess we take the Franklin, the Ben Franklin bridge eventually, but, uh, MBTA, MBTA one, two, three, four. Uh, we are in suburbia right now. <laughs> so you, you've missed all the nice beach towns. Uh, now we're just kind of in suburbia. I think we're actually about to do a deviation, by the way. Um, let me check the schedule. You know what, guys? There's a chance I might have lost the schedule. Ah, it's on the ground. Okay, schedule. Oh yeah, okay, so I think, so the, the, um, the sign says Brick Plaza, like the, the stop thing at the front. I think we, we kind of deviate off to go do, to serve a plaza, but not quite. It's not like, we don't go into the plaza, but we kind of go, um, like off of what could be a direct route to serve a plaza. Ooh, we're taking a slip lane. Um, nice New Jersey intersection. No jug handles though. Hey, Alina, good to see you. Um, I, th I think this counts as a deviation, guys, because we're kind of, we've gone off what could have been our main path to do, like, to serve something else. I'm pretty sure. If, if someone who has, like, the map can confirm, then we can call this deviation number three. Um, so I'm calling deviation number one the Asbury Park, like, transportation center. Yes, base camp. They also they also do that in um, in Boston. They use like reg just regular buses. Ooh, any jug handles here? No. We're going through some big intersections, but no jug handles. Um, uh, jug handle is like at least to my it's like the, it's like a um, kind of a clover leaf, the side of a clover leaf interchange, like one of those things that goes. Ooh. You turn, you turn 270 degrees to go 90 degrees over. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jeremy. So jug handles one, deviations three. Also, we're at the intersection of Chambers and Ovation Way. Um, Cedric, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I didn't plan on continuing those because they take a lot of effort, but I, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Nixle says that we're in Brick Township, so Adam, I think that should answer your question. What's special about Brick? <laughs> Sylvie, I'm sorry I froze your fingers. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so the, yeah, those hybrid video reviews, they were, it was a, kind of an experiment and I, I, they take a lot of effort It's like a lot of editing for a very short review. So at the moment, I don't know that I'm gonna do them, but that can always change. I definitely miss the blogging days sometimes, but I just feel like the feedback from, from YouTube is, is, you know, kind of more fun, I suppose, and, and more rewarding, I think. And I also just love the, um, I love the like editing process. Check that out. Ben, we're, ben, ben says we're running five minutes early. Okay, well, <laughs> dang. 
we will uh, we'll see how early we get to Philly, I guess. I guess it's still the longest bus route in, you know, whatever, in terms of uh, length. Longest bus route in the East Coast in terms of length. Um, but in terms of travel time, I guess I guess we can do the S92 in the summer next time. Um, it's definitely starting to get a little woodsy here. I'm worried about the the pine woods. So we're kind of getting out to the middle of nowhere here. Although, oh, hang on, here's a parking lot, and some tennis courts. I don't know what's happening here. Um, you should all let me know if I get choppy. Um, yeah, Jeremy, I mean, the 319, see, the 319 is like an express. That, that's, a, that's totally an express, though, because that actually is like, you know, that goes so, f that, that, that takes, spent so long on the highway. Um, yeah, Sovi, the, the S92 would be a, quite a sufferful journey. Um, so, so much traffic. Um, ooh, you and left turn, says a sign. Ooh. Okay, wait, here is a jug handle not related to the bus route for a highway interchange. Jeremy, a little bit one up to you. Do you want to count that? It's a jug handle that we've seen. It's also for a highway interchange, so I don't know if that's like uh, in the spirit of New Jersey, like overbearing, overbuilding. Ooh, wow, a combined Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robin, we're really in the New York area. Um, the 319 is one of New Jersey's only routes with above a 90% fare box recovery ratio. Wow. Um, yeah, the yeah no the drug handle was just part of a clover release, so maybe that maybe that doesn't count. Well, okay, I. Oh, well, it counts as drug handles we take. Okay, gotcha. Um, Matt, it's it's a it's a local route in that it it makes local stops. That that's my that's my uh, definition. Um, am I on Route seventy, Zeke? I'm not sure. Someone with a map can check. That would be. There's also a bowling alley over here with kind of a cool vintage old sign. Um, yeah, Andrew, I've, I've, I do know that's the case. I'm, I've been trying to not talk when I flip it. <laughs> the actual <-trico. laughs> Jeremy, I. It, it would be fun to like take a. It would be very fun to take a a bus to get there just to experience it because wow that's a crazy thing Oop, um the person asking for route 70 we're just turning on to route 88 now so that's helpful 19141 that's what someone said it was so oh well, actually like, that's the fun yeah i think it's just 19140 um 317 is an exception to the local routes. What is that? I know, normal left turn. We gotta get some jug handles. This street's actually pretty narrow. You like see, it's almost like a one way. You can see the other side of it so close. Oh, a couple yellow cars there. This is all car dealerships now. Does Central Jersey exist? I think so. Um, I have a I have a friend who yeah Jeremy. It's like right on his Twitter, which I or some it used to be. I don't think it is anymore. But um, I um, I I have a friend who called Central who called the boundaries of Central Jersey when you are geographically closer to Philadelphia, but you still commute to New York. And I just thought that was kind of a, a fun definition. Um, <laughs> but I definitely I, I, I always love the fun definition of Central Jersey so I really like I, I'm convinced by any of them I, it's definitely a place that exists it's like you can't call like you can't call like Trenton what would Trenton be like that's not South Jersey it's not North Jersey you know New Brunswick that's not North Jersey it's not South Jersey um right
Oh, Jeremy, that's such a good definition. When the Acela goes 135. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, see, people come up with the most fantastic definitions of Central Jersey. I love that so much. Trenton to New Brunswick, that makes sense. That, that totally makes sense. Cause Ra like Rahway feels like North Jersey, or at least some, some conception of, of North Jersey. We're getting into the woods now, check this out. I think, I think uh, it seems like I might lose service at some point given how, you know, it's a gangrel. Do I know a public transit way to get to Six Flags, New England or Canopy Lake from Boston? I don't think there's a way to get to either. I know Peter Pan used to run the Six Flags New England, but I'm not sure if they do anymore. Canopy Lake, there's a like a dial -a ride in Salem, but it's it's uh, not the best. I'm starting to cut out a lot, good to know. Um, okay, I can type in the chat too if I need to. Good to know that I'm cutting out. <laughs> Does Connecticut deserve to exist? No. I'm a staunch believer that um, New Haven West and then Waterbury and Danbury South, that's not New England. That is just New York suburbs. Completely different. Um, ooh, Ben says we're coming into a town. We're going to deviate. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully that means we get service again. Okay, Alina... The, the, there, this is more rural than stuff we've seen before. <laughs> Turn Connecticut into a water park meme. All right, send it to me. Oh, people are saying we're coming to Lakewood. Ah, it is getting dense. Check that out. And here's a car wash. Okay. Ooh, look at the text on this building. It's kind of cool. Auto parts. This is like this is what riding a bus with me is like. I just kind of point things out. It's kind of industrial here. And on the other side, we've got some factory housing, maybe. Oh, and then sort of a McMansion development and a railroad crossing. Um, yeah, no, theme, theme parks in the Boston area are tough to get to, for sure. Ooh, okay, here are other NJT buses, so this must be Lakewood. Is this another deviation? This is a deviation, all right. Who's doing the deviation count? This is, this is four, I think. Oh my gosh, is this also a garage? This feels like a Greyhound station. They've got, like, things here to service buses. Um, yeah, Jackson, I think the 61 should run after midnight, so you should be okay. Good, nice coach bus up here. We are, like, pulling into a berth here. This is, like, a proper deviation. Oh, bus has just turned off. Okay. Someone's getting off. Oh, and there's a, there's a 139 pulling in. Ten minute bathroom break. Okay. This is the only time we stop. It's Philly's two and a half hours. Once you get, once we leave, we also stop. So if you gotta use the restroom, now is the time. Is inside the bus station? Huh? The restroom is inside the bus station. Yes. Can they All right. Are you good? I'll I'll go in the bus station. I guess. When when do we leave? Once we leave here, there's really no place to stop. Okay. Philly's two and a half hours. We're not gonna get in Philly to about maybe around seven thirty. Okay. Once you leave here, you gotta go. I don't know what to tell you. Sure. Alright, sounds good. Alright, guys, let's take an adventure. Sorry. Alright, well, check out the lakes. The 
Lakewood bus station. Five oh three is the time written. What time is it now? Four fifty two. Oh my goodness. See, this is a transit center that's actually open. It's pretty nice. This is, uh, this is it. <laughs> I'm genuinely wondering, I, I actually, I wouldn't, I would not complain about taking a bathroom break and I'm wondering what the best way, what the best way to do that is. <laughs> I might, st I might stick the phone in the pocket. I'm gonna put you guys in the void again because might as well, might as well do it while I'm here. Okay, so I'm gonna see you on the other side. Was there muting? Oh, sorry. Oh well, I I hope I, there, was, there was someone else. Well, anyway, here's here it is. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right, well. Sorry, everyone. I figured like, I figured like, um, <laughs> sorry everyone, um, well, oh well, um, yeah, so the bus driver closed the doors, so we're here at the station, I guess, yes, yeah, so everyone's talking about reboarding tickets, I know, as <laughs> getting flashbacks. I'm glad I brought my coat out. So, there's several buses at the terminal right now. A score for Lakewood. It's actually not bad. It's genuinely not bad. Like there are places to sit. It's kind of a nice vent. The bathrooms are decent. Um, it's it's a, it's not a bad building. It's got you know kind of an exterior with various berths. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. I'm sorry. Um, but um, yeah, overall, this is. I would probably give this like a seven out of ten trying to think of like how how I used to review stations um 
Cody asked why I'm mute swearing. I, I, well, first of all, it's like, you know, there's, there's some like, um, oh. there's some, I mean, there's some semblance of like family friendliness, I, you know, to some extent, but also it's just, I think it's funnier when stuff beeps, <laughs> when, when swears beep, I don't know. I think it's just, it just makes it funnier. Um, like, come on, if you actually heard Jordan, like actually swearing, it wouldn't be as funny as like in that in that one transit jeopardy video where the whole thing is just like beeps like <laughs> that's kind of fun our stallion that will bring us to philly okay. a 67 and a 139. it's kind of funny if there is a bathroom break i wish there was a vending machine here i'd get food i'm gonna be hungry by the time i get back to philly the sun's getting kind of low in the sky. Goes to the bathroom on the screen. Oh man, you guys are making it sound creepy. I'm I'm really sorry. Um, I I didn't I didn't know it would be like. <laughs> sorry, but I didn't want to like leave my phone somewhere because it's just like I don't want someone to take it. But no, I'm sorry about that. Um. Yeah, Andrew, the editors are me. I just, I just really, I just really went, ooh, another 139 coming in. Hello. The bus does not have an onboard restroom. Um, I guess I take my mask off since I'm outside, now that I think about it. Um, I can be more clear for a sec. Jackson, I would have brought pretzels if I could have. There were like no, um, there were no which um, um, uh, convenience stores in um, Asbury Park that had pretzels. <laughs> Jackson, I did. <laughs> we should write a country song about that. The 139 runs every two minutes at peak. Gosh, I kind of, I mean, I can imagine, but like from here, that's fascinating. How long is the trip to New York from here? Like, I feel like we're kind of far from New York. I know Anti-T runs some insane peak service. <laughs> yeah, Jackson, you gotta like, you gotta crash the video just so you can deviation. Um, Alright, let me see what the rest of the terminal looks like. Um, <laughs> Gamer Eric, I, I will probably be too tired to stream anything else by the time I get to Philly, but, but we will see. Oh, the 139 is variance, okay. I am... I am just a man talking to himself on his phone. I don't, I don't know that me singing would be a good look. Yeah, it was a payphone. I love how there's a bus garage here. Like that's just so funny. I the bus has its doors closed. There is nothing I can do. <laughs> I wish I could get on the bus. It's freezing out here. Yeah, Andrew, I have written the new Orange Line cars. Um, yeah, they're fantastic. Well, aside, I mean, the the doors are terrible. I hate the beeping doors, but like they're definitely better than the the regular ones. You, you guys are telling me to get on the bus. I literally can't. It is it is. Uh, oh, I'm backwards. It is shut. There is no way to get on. <laughs> I had a payphone. Yes. That song's terrible. There's one good Maroon 5 song and it's This Love. Does the payphone work? That's a good question. The payphone works. Now I have now I have payphones stuck in my head. 
That is like a fate worse than death. I don't think it has a number, Jeremy. I'm trying to look at the... Yeah, I don't see a number on here. I, I don't know. I don't necessarily know where it would be, but unless does anyone know where I would look? Um, why? Why are you? So, are you a Maroon Five fan? <laughs> Sorry, I, that, obviously that's fine. That's um, <laughs> what's my favorite song? Um, hmm, a good song I like right now. Um, I well, a so I mean, uh, I my my first thought. There's a song called "Golden Brown" by the Stranglers that I, it's it's very cool. Um, <laughs> it's like it's it's like a got a harpsichord as a lead instrument, and it's 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 like from it's from 1983, 1982, 1981. I'm sorry, and um, yeah, it's fabulous. Um, it's very kind of baroque sounding, um, which isn't necessarily, you know. It's on like I, you know, I, I, I I'm sorry, I'm, st I'm stuttering a lot, but um, it's very, it's a very cool song. I also love, I mean, Jackson got me into the Beach Boys, which is why every, every video of Jackson we continue our ongoing cover of "I Get Around." Um, <laughs> Alina, Adam Levine, not a huge fan. His voice is not the best. <laughs> I think we did, we arrived 12 minutes earlier, so yeah, the bus is. Um, I'm diligently standing outside the bus and it is not leaving. Or indeed opening its doors. Oh, I think we're boarding. All right, we are boarding. I'm getting on the bus. Jeremy, did you do the, um, out of, are, are you a Beach Boys fan, Jeremy? All right, we are back. Whew. Nice and warm in here. I think, uh, we counted this as a deviation, I think. Didn't we, didn't we put the, this is like the fourth deviation? Yeah, Aaron, I think I would have been locked in if I had stayed on. Um, this bus is the closest energy you guys to Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh, I see. I know they used to run one from Philly, but... Oh yeah, Jeremy, that, that challenge was really hard though. I, I was just, that was just a passion project. Um, yeah, 2250 is the fare for this. Um, that Beach Boys thing was like, it was just a total passion project. And it's funny because it did not, it did not get many views at all, but... <laughs> Oh, have fun, Alina. Have a good dinner. Um, but that was, it was literally just like me having fun. Okay, update. My my charge you charge is at three. Ah, I'm back. Okay, um, this is at three now as we head out from Lakewood. So we will see. I might have to resort to the computer depending on how that gets. Say goodbye to Lakewood. Rails roller coasters, yes, I will be on the, or at least I plan on being on the last half of Philly. Um, there are now four people on the bus, which I believe is, um, four people on the bus, meaning six total, I think, possibly seven total. Um, hey, Amtrak Productions. My phone battery is at 26%. Because it's like barely charging with a live stream. <laughs> um, 
the stretch from Lakewood to Moore sounds really nice. All right. Of course, we might lose service. We'll see. Ben Chase arrived 13 minutes early, leaving three minutes late. All right. Sounds good. Um, we're looping around. Heading out. I cannot imagine how... Ooh, hey, excellent Fomer, thank you so much for the for the one ninety nine. I really appreciate it. Ooh, okay, guys, what does that put the trip at? So now we're at um, the trip is now has now cost seventeen oh one for the uh, for the journey. Thanks, excellent Fomer. So seventeen oh one is now how much this has cost. Um, um, anyway, um, no, I'm half tired of the journey. We are. I'm not sure what percentage of the way we are. I can look. I actually have a schedule. Um, yeah, thank goodness this bus doesn't have dots. Um, so we just left Lakewood. It's a Saturday. Um, 5.03. Alright, so we're like, we're like a third of the way this done. Um, Michael, I know. I, I hear, I heard, yeah, so this is, this will not be, this is, the second to last day this bus will be running all the way to Philly, which is really cool. Here's some water. Very cool. Um, it's a nice like blue light in the back. I don't know if that was always there. Um, hopefully, um, I might lose service now as we're, I think, are we heading into the real like middle of nowhere part now? We will see. It'd be kind of funny if I just completely cut out and there's no, oh, right when there's like 40 people on too. This is like the most it's been. Maybe we can't catch a sunset. There's the sun right now. Amtrak Productions, there are, uh, I don't believe there are any bus things on this route. Maybe in Philly when we use Market Street, but I think it's the wrong side of it. The bus is only on Western Market. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, Jackson, but the sunset light blasting into my eyes this suburbia. Um, not quite low enough to be a proper sunset yet. I want to say all these houses are different. Yeah, and I think it's the wrong part of market, isn't it? Like, I think we're going to be on the eastern side, the bus is on the west side. Um, so we've got just pure suburbia here. Yeah, the last, the last trackless trolley gets to North Cambridge super late. Because what it's basically doing is the uh, the last 71 73 go outbound, and then you, they come to, uh, to North Cambridge, kind of just going back to the garage. So it's going to be super late. Uh, 15, 2.30 or something. Lakewood, what's the population of Lakewood? I, I had no idea it was such a big place. It's kind of like Vine. Like, an city. I wonder if I'm being choppy. I'm seeing a lack of... Ooh, transmission is unstable due to weak connection. All right. Here, we'll see. Yeah, Jeremy, I'm hearing that. Or I'm seeing that. <laughs> it's so sad. So I guess we'll just we'll just see what happens. Um, I don't know what's happening to the travel trolleys after they're done. There's a mall going on, Kosher West. Oh, is there a big is there a big Jewish population in uh, Lakewood? This route's changing on the 20th, 28th, yeah. So on Monday, it will only... 17 does make a stop in Canada, yeah. I think with any cell phone company, it would be a lack of service. Because <laughs> um, we're, we're kind of... We go into like some pretty just dense forest. Forest. Is a giant Orthodox population, okay. 
I really want to go to, uh, be, I don't know what it'd be like, but it'd be, I, I'm fascinated by that one, that one kind of, um, that one place up in kind of upstate New York, uh, Curiosioa, I don't remember how it's pronounced, but that'd be a really cool place to visit, I feel like. I, 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 I don't know what, to, what I'd do there, but I know, I know they have, like, one of the highest, like, public transit uses per capita. Yeah, yeah, that's it. In Orange County. I know it's possible to get to, and I think they recently started publishing their schedules. Uh, but I haven't looked in a while. We're speeding now. We're going super fast. Uh, classic New Jersey thing. Every, seemingly every town has a water tower. So this might be the Lakewood one. Uh, Jackson Township. Jackson, are you still here? It's your township. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> also, Wawa. Oh, Jackson, I don't know if you saw, but we're in your township, though. There's a, there's a water tower that says Jackson Township up there. <clears throat> Where did the chat might be behind? Or probably I'm behind. Take a shot every time I see a water tower in New Jersey. I, I have water. I'm actually kind of thirsty. I think I'm gonna take another. I'm gonna take another shot of water. They're gonna cut back to Walter Rand, yeah, and then just they're gonna cut all of them. So like 317. Any route that was the Greyhounds, like 317. Um, three. Uh, I don't remember all of them. 313, 315. Um, Quite a few of them, uh, and basically they're still going to run like the 400 routes that do their kind of loop around Philly, and they're still going to run the 551, but it's going to use some random street stop, I think. Uh, yeah, Wawa. There's so many Wawas that we pass. It'd be hard to do a Wawa counter. Yeah, so, and basically NJT will keep letting you buy a Philly fare, but they'll force you to get on like the four, any of the 400 routes of the 551. Uh, Sophie, I spent, I spent 975 if I had gone to, uh, to Camden. Still going to go to Philly market, I think. Um, Oh, the 408 and the 409 too. I didn't realize that. Okay. Real fine. There's some more water going on. Um, I'll go to Camden. Oh no, transmission is unstable due to. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Greyhound Terminal. Like, what's the story with the Greyhound Terminal? Who'd they sell it off to? Like, is Greyhound not going to go there anymore, either? RM Transits just went live. Ugh. Once I cut out, people start going to him. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have timed it on a Saturday night. Um, yeah, the ground terminal's not the best. I, I, what are they gonna do with it? Like, where's Greyhound gonna go? Don't, I, if they like, Philly's too big for them to go somewhere crazy random. Um, so hopefully they still stick around in Philly to some extent.
taking a Acela back from Boston because uh, it was like four dollars more than the regional. Uh, when this is this is when the Green Line extension opens. Um, so I actually I'm thinking of using my, one of my class upgrades to, to take first class and do a video on it. So that'd be kind of fun. Um, thankfully, the it was like it was like an eighty dollar. four people on the bus. Um, um, trying out, oh geez. <laughs> I, see, I have to use like the sideways keyboard if I want to type in the chat. Trying this out. Um, hard to type <laughs> um, city bus speed on route 1 through 89 excluding the aisle of that <laughs> oh that would be insane I have thought about like trying to do as many like scepter routes in like order as possible um, but it's kind of hard they're like I don't know and also variants make it difficult. And that's is just like ride one section of each one. That would be kind of fun. Like I'll ride all the silly city bus routes. Um, playing the past hour two times speed to catch up. Oh my goodness, thanks Richard. My big fan of Iron Transit. Yeah, I like him. I, I think that I, I I think that he does some pretty good. You know, he's kind of making transit stuff. Um, known to the world which is you know I think that's important um I kind of want I kind of want to do a um I want to do a, a like parody video of him like I did with Jeb Brooks I think that'd be kind of fun um so maybe one day um okay uh yeah Cedric there are only four people on here um for this insanely long trip but it's a local bus remember so people could get on whenever <laughs> I have, people are saying there's a lot of silence. <laughs> um, let me bring the, the chat back. Um, we, oh yeah, yeah, it's so hard to chat, people. We are, we are now so. Um, <laughs> is the silence that bad? I see a school, I see some houses. There's still stuff here. We're not totally in the middle of nowhere. Here's like a little shopping center. Yeah, definitely, uh, chemical. <laughs> Hi, Matthew from Rhode Island. My signal's better now. Okay, good to know. Next time I need to do like <laughs> the 23 or something. <laughs> something that's easy and just doesn't cut out. Um, yeah, I'd love, to, I'd love to meet Iron Transit. That'd be awesome. I, he, he's a really, he seems like a really cool guy. Um, um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to Canada soon um, for spring break. Is it really always sunny in Philadelphia? Andrew, it is not. It does in fact rain in Philadelphia. Life in the 127. Yeah, thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, what, like, what's the next crazy route to live stream? That's the question. Um, I'm not sure. I, I really live well, streaming it. Oh yeah, the TV's gone. Yeah, someone was watching stuff, but not not anymore. Um, no, genuinely, like, what do I live stream? Do Do you guys enjoy these live streams? Like, I kind of like doing them, but it's also, um, you know. It's kind of like, oh, like special. It'd be really cool. And that would probably have more. I know that has the most variants. Um, the SEPTA 14 has so many variants. Um, I think it has like 32. Also has 32. Everyone really wants me to do 319. All right, I'll put it. <laughs> Cape May, that's the thing. Um, for 
what it's worth, the... Oh, Adam, are you heading out? Goodbye. The Q38, is that the one that just like ends up a block from where it started? Um, yeah, uh, for what it's worth in Canada, I'm going to... Uh, and then going to uh, Montreal for a couple days. That'll be really fun. Um, all 32 variants of the... That would be really fun. The 14 has a couple Friday-only ones, so maybe all 32 variants of the G. <laughs> that would be very funny. The 15 trolley and bus. It's really funny. <laughs> Watch like a on you to the chat. this Second of video, oh my goodness. It's funny because I've been talking the whole time. Oh, oh, the thing, the thing saying that, the thing saying there's a bad connection has gone away. Oh, I, I, um, there's, hang on. The, there are some houses. There's, there's something here. <laughs> a second here and there, wow. We are in the middle of nowhere. There's like it's farmland out here. I say that there's there's houses, but what would it stop? People are saying I'm back. That's good news. There's like 12 people left. That's so funny. Yeah, it's pretty rural. And yet somehow this is when I get service. And yet all these awful houses are on this side. An airport thing. Oh, is this the military base? I'm surprised. Oh, I guess that makes sense to service in the military base. Let's see what my service is right now. Oh, I have four bars. Wow. Yeah, there's, there's 24 people here again. Yay. Uh, still the same. Still four other people on the bus. This is like the real middle of nowhere section. Missed me losing cell service. Cedric <laughs> um, says we're near the military base, so or, or maybe we're, maybe we're not. I don't know. I know that we eventually go to um to uh, Fort Dix. Three seventeen. Are there a bunch of military bases on here? I I just know Fort Dix. Like that's the one that's kind of the big deal. And the bus like deviates around it, which I don't know how we're going to count that, but, um, yeah, there's kind of woods right now. I got saved from the Brazil zone. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, we did pass on see something. Okay, yeah, I did see that. Apparently this is Marshall's Corner, says the, um, bus, in, the bus sign in the front. Um, okay, what's going on here? We've got some stuff going on. McGuire AFB, I mean that's what it is. We've got a tile and stone, we've got a Wawa. Did this one we turn? Nope. No jug handles here. We're far away from Fortex, okay. Yep, the GLX opens uh, March 21st. I'm gonna be up there for it. Fort Dick. <laughs> Even Fort
Four Dicks is pretty funny, honestly. So we're really in civilization. Really, like, we're out, we're out. I think Aaron found a bus route that takes like five hours and goes to Walla Walla, Washington. I think that's the longest bus in the country that we were able to find. He, he'd be able to tell you. Um, I don't know if I don't know if uh, Aaron's still on the on the stream or not, but um, there's some. I think it's a bus in like Walla Walla. Ooh, a haircut, Jackson. All right, have a good haircut. Oh yeah, the Hindenburg crashed around here. Can you take uh, NJT to see the Hindenburg site? I wonder. Ooh. Look at that. A nice field. A nice farm. Some horses. Oh, yes. We're really in the middle of nowhere. Which... Are you guys seeing this? Like... Rays has been such a crazy ride that we kind of started, you know, we started in like on the beach and like went to a bunch of beach towns. Now, now we're kind of really in the middle of nowhere. Um, the Hindu Memorial is on base. Okay. Um, what is, uh, I wonder if we'll go by it. Can I let you on base if they're nice? Okay. So maybe I won't be able to, uh, <laughs> to go or to see it rather or slash, you know, see it someday oh i'm sorry mbt one two three four well you can see that you could go see the extension after they say it's opening in the afternoon so you know you you will not miss the first trip by that long probably uh i'm super excited they're gonna do some like ribbon cutting thing i think the sky's starting to get orange Let's see that i've got a nice sunburn hindenburg deviation that'd be great yeah, Cody, I think the first the first train, they're doing like a big press conference and they're gonna have it open in the afternoon. So I think that's the first bus, the first train's actually gonna be in the afternoon, which is disappointing. Um, it'd be really funny if like late afternoon means after my train home. Cause I got like the last train. Would low res video help the stream? I'm not sure. How do you, um, how do you do that? Uh, I'm not sure if I have a way of, uh, ooh, oh, hang on. Um, it's just unit square bench, yeah. Look at this, feel a little nice. Some old churches, that's, that's a 1651, I couldn't tell. Central. I've never heard of them. I'll have to, I'll have to check them out. A like little town here. The food truck over there. A package shop. This is kind of dense. The florist. What town are we in, everyone? No, I'm not using Transit App Go. My, this is already killing my battery as it is. New Egypt, okay. Church set. This does kind of feel like Vermont. It's like a little, nice little compact downtown. There's a fire station. And this is a building that's for sale, apparently. Alright, time for another drink. My throat's gonna keep getting more and more raw the further we go. <laughs> Yeah, it is pretty dense, Cedric. This is really nice. Um, I don't know what that stops us to be. That's like CKTWN Egypt plus Hanover Cooktown. 
Oh, the S89. Yeah, that would be really fun to ride. I would love to ride that. Um, where did all the four passengers get on? Uh, two from Lakewood, two from Asbury Park. No, sorry. Yeah, no, that's correct. Um, no, I'm not on Megabus. I'm on the New Jersey Transit 317. Um, it's the longest local bus route on the East Coast, even though it uses a coach bus. Um, I, I consider it local because it does not use any highways uh, and it makes all those stops. Cooktown, New Egypt Road, gotcha. Okay, thanks for that, uh, Nixel. Ooh, we're entering the woods again. Let's see, what will I, what will I call out? Reading the schedule left to right is, um, that is a North American thing to have it uh, left to right. Are you used to, to up to down? Um, yeah, only three people know us now. Um, yeah, thanks, Matthew. Yeah, someone got off here. Don't know where they were going. <laughs> I know, Jeremy. It would take so long to ride all of NJT. Yeah, um, th yes, this is also, as, an, as a reminder, it's the last, second to last day that this bus is going to, um, to, uh, Philadelphia. It's gonna start going to Camden starting on Monday. The gas station. Still civilization for sure. We're not totally in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Main Street and Bunting Bridge Road. I'm not getting chat updates anymore, so I wonder if I'm cutting out, or maybe you guys are starting to talk that much, which is which is fine too. That sunset is fantastic. Ooh, taking a right. Look at that little street. Wow. There are no drug handles around here. Is it just really nice? We're right on time. Okay. This is a beautiful bus ride. This is like. Just look at this. Jeremy saw a bus shelter? I totally missed that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to street view that later. I'm very curious. Ooh. Now some other houses. Okay, so now we're coming into the AFB, okay. Fair enough. Wrightstown Main Road. Wow, five minutes between stops. That's just because we're in the middle of nowhere, I think. Well, I'm seeing Cooktown Road and Falcon. Ooh, okay, here's a factory. And here is more fields. Sorry I don't have it focused on me, but I'm just loving this view so much. I feel like you'd all enjoy it too. Dry clean. trip phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, Richard, this kind of is. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of going. Oh, Nick, so you're doing time much. Okay, gotcha. Um, this pretty much is like a slow TV trip, except just with me talking. So not quite as boring, although pretty boring. Hello, it's me 
again. I still exist. I can also be focusing on the outside more because it's it's very pretty. I agree, Jeremy. This is great. Oop. Okay, I saw a sign for the base. Let me turn it back. The MBTA 76 deviation to um, to Lincoln Labs was really bizarre. They had someone check the bus. That's like the only time I ever had that happen to me. And that's like on that's like a route that goes near my house. Like that's so interesting that it happened to be that. Um, so probably that one, the Lincoln Labs deviation on the MBTA 76. No, Maria, this actually isn't the cheapest way from Asbury Park to Philly. I think it would probably be. Um, It'd be, it would be taking, ooh, Jeremy, you've got a bus shelter and someone getting on. Bus shelter and someone getting on. So that's, uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is the seventh rider. Um, this is an atmospheric bus ride. Um, but no, uh, Maria, the cheapest way from Asbury Park to Philly would be, I think, taking this bus to Camden and then taking Paco across. Yeah, exactly. Busy part, Wrightstown. Oh, it's a Dunkin' Donuts, hello. Bob, Bob, you have missed a decent amount. Um, kind of in the middle of nowhere now. We are in some beach towns originally. Um, but uh, yeah, we're kind of, I'm not sure. Oh, I guess I can check the, let's see how far into the route we are. Um, so 358, 543, we're like, we're approaching halfway, I think. We did get a stop for fun. One person just got off. Oh. Sorry folks, it's another 7-Eleven here. Unfortunate. Ooh, solar powered lights though, it's kind of fun. We passed Six Flags, uh, must not have gone close enough to see it. This is pretty dense now, so hopefully my, my connection's okay. I imagine like west of here. Ooh, ooh, hello, Fort Dix Road. So we're getting there, I assume. See ya, Sobe. Yeah, I know, Jeremy, this is a busy area. Round Mills, okay. 1801, that's a 544, all right, that's a while away from now. I'll probably deviate into that one. I know, I know this route has several shopping center deviations later on. Oh, okay, we're not at Six Flags yet, gotcha. Sunset is very nice, I agree. I say, as you're looking at me, about to take a drink. All right, the water in this bottle is complete. Thankfully, I was able to get some water in Asbury Park, so I'm gonna 
so that's all all right um i think somewhere around the the afb we kind of do a detour don't we uh up detour a um detour. We are turning, I think. Oh, transmission is unstable. Uh oh. Okay, noted. Maybe not anymore. So we turn on a new road. We're following the western. So I think this is. Is this where the, the really deviation? Alright, update the deviation counter. This is, is this number five or number. It's number five, right? Quarter square servants, quarter bus lines. I, I don't think I saw it. Um, you should send it to me. <laughs> um, shape, fantastic. So this definitely got all right. Five deviations, one jug handle. And eh, Wakanda is the start of the deviation. Um, oh, Fort Dix Road. Okay. Ooh. This road is doing interesting turn here. Oh, I see. We're kind of going away from the. So I think that's another entrance. Well, we just stopped. And we're going. Okay. I don't know what we're doing. Alright, we're going. Do we go into the base? We're, kind of, we're skirting the entrance here. But, oh no, okay. We're kind of skirting it again. Alright. Heading this way. I guess, yeah, just let me know when we get to the deviation, I guess. Is the, I don't find the map in the scheduled PDF useful. It's like... Um, hang on, I'll, I'll flip it. Uh, oh, that's not focusing. Uh, all right, it's not focusing, but um, come on. All right, well, yeah. So we were. I see. So we're on the big S turn bit now that no one can see. All right, thanks, Petru. Okay. So drop deviations five. So is this deviation specifically to like serve, um, like serve places, but because we have to go around the military base, we have to like do this big deviation? I think this is a deviation, yeah. But I think, I think we counted all right. This is, this is deviation five, I'm pretty sure. This is like, this is just all woods. Um, here's this is a school maybe? It is. Helen A. Fort Middle School. Um, unnecessary deviation, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we counted Lakewood, don't worry. Um, ooh. Check out the sunset there, that's awesome. Um, this is, this bus is like every two hours or so, all seven days a week. Church. Um, 
failure we've had. And, and ultimately, um, we might feel a bit, then it won't matter anyway. Yeah, this is really pretty. <laughs> yeah, Sam, exactly. Um, gotta love the Gatra 8, but like, even in the summer, it does its like school deviation. We are just out in fields right now. With some random billboards, but this is this is amazing. We are truly, at least from what I can tell, in the middle of nowhere. Good photography. Thanks, Richard. I'm just kind of holding my phone out the window and hoping for the best. So glad it's uh, glad it's working out. Um, oh, hello. It's another let's go, let's go Brandon signs too. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be around for the GLX opening. I, I booked a ticket back. Um, my train leaves Boston at four something, so hopefully, um, hopefully like late afternoon doesn't mean after four. I don't feel like it should. Uh, we're taking a left. I guess this is probably part of the <laughs> part of the deviation here. Um, I do, yeah, JG seventy seven. I do know about the ninety two. I've heard of that. That is a very interesting route. Ben says we'll be a few miles from here in 20 minutes. Oh my goodness, what a deviation. Uh, yeah, Sam, it kind of is. It's like the farms and the houses. Like, I, I totally see it. Jeremy, you saw bike lanes? I totally missed that, oh my gosh. Uh, we did just take a left. I think it might be on the bike, so. Now I'm just kind of like holding my phone out the window. I am, I swear I'm here. It's just like, this is so pretty. I also can't believe that like, like, you know, we've had consistently around 30 people here just literally watching me ride a bus. So I really appreciate that everyone. That is, uh, I can't believe that so many people would want to tune into that. We've got an abandoned farm building here. Um, I think this counts as one deviation, honestly. It's like a, it's a big curve. Um, oh, JG77, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. That's such, that's so bizarre. I hope there are other routes that are close to you. A death trap bike lane. Yeah. I. These roads are super narrow, but there's also like nothing here, so you could expand that out if you wanted to. Although I guess how many people bike here? My battery's at 43%. Aw, thanks Omar, I really appreciate that. Uh, Paul, I know the overnight is coming back soon. I think maybe in April it will be, uh, will be back. That was a really unfortunate train to cut. Um, I'm very excited for it to return for sure. It's so useful. But I know that like I've, I've looked into Mark 27, all right, thanks Lucas. Yeah, I've looked into like, seen it as an option, so definitely coming back soon, so yeah, that's good to know. Because that overnight, that overnight train is very useful. Um, I don't know if you remember that one Philly video where I uh, took the overnight train to Philly and it got super late, but I think that's a rare occurrence, like it doesn't usually get that late, because um, they, they padded a ton. Um, Yeah, no, I, I agree with that Amtrak Productions. <laughs> it's funny calling you by your screen name. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I know it's, it's tough because a lot of the roads are really narrow. Um, but like, and they, they have that rule where anytime you redesign a street in Cambridge, it has to um, have protected bike lanes, right? Um, hey, Adam, yeah, we're all still here. Um, yeah, but Cambridge, like, like 
Mass Ave, for example, it's like there's so much room to put a bus lane. Like that, there should be a bus lane on Mass Ave. Like, come on. Um, and it, you know, if you get rid of parking on streets, then it's like totally fine. Um, then you can put bus lanes everywhere. Of course, Massachusetts, like, you know, the MBTA is so much better about bus lanes than SEPTA is. Like, it's it's really sad living in Philly and just kind of not seeing any any progress made in that front. Ooh, we've just made a, uh, we just made a stop sign here. Um, um, ah, hello, you're in Rockville. Did you like the Rockville video? Oops. Oh, no, I dropped my phone for a sec. Um, Um, oh, Petra, that's good to hear about the bus lanes, yeah. Um, Jeremy, I rode, I rode the 14th Street busway soon after it opened, I think. I can't even remember now, but, um, it'd be, are there other ones? Does, I guess, does Flushing have one? I don't know, I haven't been keeping track. I know 14th Street was a really big deal. Yo, oh, man. Petra, imagine, like, Northern Mass Ave, especially like a center running BRT, it'd be so easy at that nice median. Um, I guess another, luckily this, this bus is kind of dark, so hopefully we'll be able to see views out the window for a little longer. Um, oh, sorry about that, hello. The train caught fire, JG. Oh my goodness. I'm glad you were able to take it to Rockville. Yeah, so... Update. We're just kind of woods right now. It's, not, it's honestly not that pretty right at the, at the moment. I kind of like the big fields. But we, we really are in the middle of nowhere. There's not much. 21st has a busway? I had no idea. Okay, that's pretty cool. Go New York. I, I, I feel like these have been all been like less big deals in 14 in the news. Um, yeah, Bob Bob Blue Hill Lab should have center on BRT. It is completely possible. Out on the sun, still up, barely, but we're, we're, we're losing it fast. Um, oh, Petru, imagine, yeah, like, right, like if you had like a cool like trolley pulls in the middle of going going out, that'd be awesome. Like Aberdeen Ave style. Um, <laughs> Jeremy, that's sad to hear that it was clogged with cars. Oh my gosh. What's the point of a busway if it's clogged with cars? Um, 14th Street is really fun. I, I, I would like to do that again. I, I feel like there's definitely like, there's definitely a market for like some, oh, hello, Alliance is the least used Amtrak station in Ohio, incidentally. But anyway, um, yeah, it'd be fun to imagine like a New York busways speed run. That'd be kind of fun, like riding the entirety of all of the New York busways in a day. Car plane, here's some school buses. I'm seeing kind of a town because they're announcing a lot more suddenly. Oh, something's been gone for 11 minutes, I didn't even realize. Yeah, Jeremy, that's a good point. Use the bus place for the fair cat video. Ooh, civilization all of a sudden. There's a Dairy Queen, oh my goodness, in like a strip mall. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe I just don't get out much. Um, here's a Burger King, a CVS. This is civilization. Um, yeah, Alliance is the least used. I think Cincinnati is like, even though it's served by the Cardinal like three times a week, it's still, you know, a big enough city that can get ridership. It is getting dark, but hopefully you can still see okay. Um, S-Bahn systems are great, Adam. I mean, we, we need to see more like it in the US. There's really, SEPTA is supposed to be like it, but it is just totally not. Was it Cincinnati at one point? Wow, okay. Yeah, Flushing Jamaica, oh my God, those are huge, huge bus terminals. Like those are, it's very important that those have priority, so I'm glad they're getting it. Um, I'm drinking water for it's worth. Oh, the 
lights are turning on, so I'm getting on. I didn't hear a stop request. Let's see. Another bus shelter. Sounds getting on. Alright, that is the eighth rider of the trip. And we've been going for like two hours, so not a ton of ridership. Um, bus link cameras are important, yeah. Oh, eight minutes early, really? We're gonna hang out here for a bit. Oh, while well, we're heading out. Nah. Well, I don't know. We're leaving. Yes, it's nice when they shut the lights. Look at that that sky. We've still got some really nice sunset energy going on here. Yeah, right. Newspaper kiosk. Like, does anyone actually restock those? I wonder. We're on time. All right, that's good to hear. Okay, okay. Sounds like we're on time. That's good. Ooh, there's an actual sidewalk on this road. I don't know if you can see that. Definitely losing daylight. Um, the SL3 busway is better than Columbus Avenue. Inter well, yeah, no, that's definitely true. I mean, like, if, if you can get, like, an actual busway, that's great. But I... I I am. I, I still think Columbus Avenue was a good move. Um, ah, the weekday schedule. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ultimately, it's probably better than it's on a Saturday because more people are free when it's bright out. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Petru. Um, he'll at least use Virginia's Clifton. Of course. Connection. All right, I'm waiting for you guys to tell me I'm choppy. But ooh, ah, the message just went up. Again, all right. If you're if you're rewatching this, oh, we missed that. I wish I'd seen. It. It's pretty to see. Um, if you are watching this, if you're coming back, I'll watch this on YouTube. But if I'm if I'm like completely um, I'm going by something, some big building. Um, the compression got gnarly, oh boy. Sounds like it's a really interesting time. Some apartments. I mean, this feels like civilization again. So hopefully you guys are get getting some reception. Oh man, I love when we get these open fields. It's just like, the sun's here. Let's see how many bars I have. I've got two bars right now, so that's not the best, for sure. Two bars of uh, self-service, that is. Um, we're definitely in the middle of nowhere, for sure. Um, Adam, looks like we're in Pemberton, according to Ben. Bad idea. I, I wish that I could, like, make my video worse to help you all out, but I don't think I have a way to do that. Um, I don't want to touch these settings too much. No, I don't want to put filters on. This, this lets me put, like, weird... We um, kind of at the point where we're like five miles away from where we were before, or whatever.
Either way, we just made a turn, so we're, we're heading somewhere else now. Not hearing. I might. I might. Oh, almost the end of the deviation. Oh my goodness, we haven't made it yet? Wow. Yeah, Petri, I'm heading to Philly. Um, the Pemberton Bypass. Okay, so we're almost there. My gosh. That was an Wow. That's got... I guess it's... it's Situations. Systems. That would be interesting. Hello. I, I would maybe like talk or something. That'd be kind of fun to do. Um, like I, how, how the way that um, Jeff Marshall did did lease use in London was really fun. How it kind of started from the ten um, tenth worst. 10th, 10th least to use and kind of count it down. Like, I think that's a really cool way of doing it. That'd be fun to do in Boston for sure. Philly, maybe. Um, but like, Philly's again a weird one because it's like, it's so nebulous, what is what? Like, do you count regional uh, regional rail? And that's kind of a separate thing. Do you count, you know, Northtown high speed line? Do you count trolleys? It's all just kind of, you know, it's hard to say in Philly. It's just all, it's not super, uh, well documented. Least use regional rail. I could do that, like top ten, uh, and just go down. I think I'd have to go to um, Delaware Valley University for that, which is a, such a weird stop. One phone for video and one for GPS. Yeah, that would be. Oh yeah, link belt. Good one. I'd have to ride a link belt train to get there. Uh, where are we now? Um, we're at Burger King apparently. and Hanover. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone has a better idea. I think we're in Pemberton, maybe? We just missed the giant deviation, yeah. Burger King. Chevrolet? Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was Chevrolet, I don't remember. Duncan. Sunoco, which... Okay. Cemetery. Um, All right, we're one minute early. So we just finished that deviation. We still have lots of time left, don't we? Uh, yeah, Eddington review, for sure. Eddington and then uh, Eddystone. Like, the both of the two weird ones. That deviation takes forever. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so we're at, we're at time point eight, right? Um, 6.09. Oh my goodness, there's still an hour and 15 minutes left. Goodness. Um, um, uh, I should say it's Broad Channel and not like Aqueduct Racetrack or something. If I just meals off like Greyhound, I could use one right now, I gotta tell you. Um, but yeah, so um, Delaware Valley University, that's the top three, okay. Next City Express faster than this route. Asbury Park down to, uh, you have to get from Asbury Park to Atlantic City somehow, so I, I don't know. Choppy, okay. We will, we'll keep an eye, I'll keep an eye on it. I'm definitely losing viewers. Oh, Beach 98 is the least used subway station, okay. That's even more interesting, is that? So that's on the shuttle bit, okay. That The whole Far Rockaway part of the system is so funny. It'd be, it'd be really cool to visit. Honestly, a lot of them. I love that concrete L structure that serves like nothing. Very atmospheric now. Like 
we are just kind of, I mean, suburbia for sure. But the sun's just so low in the sun. Sunset Boulevard, oh my gosh. That is what it is. It's a little past sunset, but close enough. to deliberately take an eight, a peek at it and be Yeah, it would be. It, it's so funny that like, I don't know, like what, how many A trains run through? Like two? Like it's so funny that that appears on the map, but there are certain things like the, like does, doesn't the E go to Jamaica 179s more often, like five times a day or something? Oh, the coffee rail is part of the LIRR. Okay, that makes sense. It is serendipity. Oh, here's a Wawa. We really should have done a Wawa counter. That would have been really funny. It's been like way too many count by this point. Oh, geez, everyone. It's a red light. Can you believe that? Oh, six in each direction or, or, or possibly 10. Okay. So actually a decent amount, I suppose. How does the uh, E go to Jamaica? 179th Street. Let's say gas. What does that say? Oh my gosh, it's a diner. I wonder if it's... I wonder if it's, um... Factory bill. It does not look like it. It looks kind of... Well, I don't know though. It could be a newer one. Um... The favorite sees the one that has express on the outside that. Oh, that's really cool. I love those random little timetable quirks that are just... The timetable quirks that just kind of are so... Like, so obscure, you have to check a, like, an actual timetable to see them. There are more A's to Rock Park than East to 179th, but there are more E's to 179th than there are F Expresses, aren't there? And yet that appears on the, uh, on the map. Right every unmapped subway deviation. Jeremy, you should, like, put together a list of them, and then we should do it. That would be really cool. Um, while on Jersey is, like, Duncan and Massachusetts. Yeah, exactly. 7.12 Shanghai time. Good to know. Good to know. Um, what time is it then? 6.12? 6.13. Okay. Ooh, big pylons. I barely see that getting so dark. It's a tractor supply. <laughs> We're definitely, uh, it's definitely almost pure nighttime here. Right, two F Expresses, but that shows on the map, doesn't it? Always Drive is the name of... That's an awful name. We're on the bus. We're not driving. Always Drive? That's horrible. Um, oh, the Z's another one. Like, come on. <laughs> Oh wow, Jeremy, I don't know about a lot of these. Express to Gun Hill Road, oh my gosh. Five to New Lots, two. Oh my goodness. R96, it becomes a Q, there's so much weird stuff, oh my goodness. Oh, I thought the F was mapped, I'm sorry. I thought they mapped it, okay. What? Okay, here's, so what, so what is the least what what is the least um served thing that is mapped on the map in new york like the least used service that's mapped sorry not least used the least like the least number of times per day route that is mapped f express seems to be in the running a five via the two to self ferry oh my goodness Oh my gosh, that, wait, that's really wild. I think, wow, yeah. So I'm looking out the window, but I don't think you can see anything. I can see some trees. Rock Park A tree. Brisbane, Australia, oh my goodness. I, um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, B, B Leon 44 Wow, I had no idea I had fans out there. Good to see you. Um, what time is it over there? We are avoiding that kind of suburban sprawl over there. Um, 
But um, the University of Maryland shuttle bus system, 19 separate routes. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize it's, it, can you like ride them all for free or do you have to show an ID? Two fives in the morning via Broadway, then they would end at Rector Street and go via the South Ferry Loop back up to Lysen. That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't ride without an ID. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. 9.16 a.m. Sunday. Oh my gosh. Okay. It is, it is uh, 6.16 p.m. on Saturday here. Um, how does MTA compare to Go Transit? Go Transit in Toronto? Um, I think the MBTA commuter rail is currently better than them, but I'm making a turn, by the way. Um, the commuter rail is currently better than Go, but Go is like, Go is going to be so much better than anything else in North America, uh, you know, once all of its plans finish. Uh, Jeremy, what I love the Rutgers bus system? Okay. Um, that's good to know. Maybe, maybe when we, maybe we can give it a shot. We can, we can take a ride on it when we do, um, least you station in New Jersey maybe um, also we must be in a town of some kind because I'm seeing a lot of development I'm, I'm not there might be no point in holding the camera out this way anymore because ooh is that a bowling alley or or what I don't know um hey I'm Ricky good to see you um <laughs> Rutgers is the largest transit system in New Jersey other than New Jersey Transit. I think that mostly speaks to just how big New Jersey Transit is. Wow. What town are we in, everyone? There's, there's like, there's row houses now. Look at that. So we've got to be in some big place. Um, Metra, can we, oh, we're in Mount Holly. All right, good to know. This is pretty nice. I'll put the camera out here. Ooh, I'm gonna stop the bus. Um, the Metro Commuter Train Chicago, they they seem pretty nice as far as I'm aware. I, I've never been on it, but um, and they definitely have some kind of like some of the routes at the um, is it the Heritage Service that runs like twice a day or three times a day or something. Um, but um, but no, I mean they have some good services too. M's going from 96 to Whitehall. Oh my goodness. I mean, Mount Holly, all right. We're running early. Oh, good to know. All right, I'm curious if we'll like hold for time. Easy, oh, sorry. Easy switch, or easy quick, rather. Uh, so I guess this is Mount Holly. Let me know when we get to the time point. Also a spicy W. Yeah, what's the um You've gotta set it to Wombo. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a town now. Um ooh, nice main street down there. Okay. I don't I'm not too familiar with Mount Holly. Is there is this like even well served by transit besides this? Not that this is a real really good transit service anyway. Um, UM shuttle. Okay, so I could ride the circulator route. All right. It's not so exciting, I suppose, but that's, that's cool. Q via C beach. Oh, interesting. That is pretty spicy. Okay. Gosh, there's so many. I, I We just gotta like look at the timetable and find them all, I guess. It sounds like this is just so hard to figure it out. Lights are turning on, sounds good now. Huh. Yeah, Jamie, that sounds great. That would be a really fun video. Alright. And off in that hallway. Are we gonna hang out here for a bit, do you think? Seems 
it might be early. Camden to Burlington. Okay, all right. That's pretty, like, substantial. Um, <laughs> the 117 bus from Haymarket to Logan. I would love to ride that. It, like, it literally doesn't serve anything the 117 serves. Like, that should just be... That should really just be its own route. Like, the 171 gets to be its own route. Like, why is the 117... Like, they'd run that as a 117. I don't know it's called High Street. Wow. The F goes via the G. That's insane. Classy Will, there are three people on the bus right now. Um, the town of Wawa's in Virginia. Huh, they're expanding south. Oh, we're leaving. So how early does that make us if we're leaving now? Ooh. With that novelty street light. Mount Holly has class. Also, it is drink time. There was a Staten Island Express bus that went Express Staten Island and then TPA'd around Staten Island for two hours. No way. Oh my gosh. Is there a map of that? I would, I would love to see what that looks like. That's insane. That would be a fun ride. Also, good news. The portable charger is still at three bars. So unless something goes crazy wrong, I think we, sh we should be okay. Um, uh, charge wise. Next is Mount Laurel Rowan College. Oh, Mount Laurel. That would be that's pretty close to Philly, okay. So we're totally getting close. The White Plains Express bus. That's a, is that a beeline route? Mount Laurel Doctrine. I don't know what that is. Enlighten us. BXM4C, oh my gosh. And what's the Yonkers one? At the BXM three years ago. This route is this route's decently direct, but now that once we enter like kind of the suburban sprawl around Philly, there are some shopping mall deviations. Like at least three. So that's that's kind of fun. Or I think at least three. Maybe I'm wrong. Mount Little Doctrine was a court case where the state Supreme Court said towns are mandated by a portal. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was in New Jersey? Oh, it makes a little, is, is, is there a deviation right now? We are turning left. We have to add to the deviation counter. Thirty-eight at Ankleside. Ooh. Oh. Can we open the doors first. Oh, it's a railroad crossing. Oh my gosh. I was like, why are we opening the doors? Like, it's literally just a random, overgrown railroad track there. Mount Little is a verb now. That's great. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. When, when was that done? Okay, Ben says it's not a deviation. Nixel says it is. I guess I leave it. I think Jeremy's doing the official count, so I leave it up to him. Definitely suburbia now, the Wawa. I see, yeah, Nick, so I noticed that. Like Mount Holly does seem like a deviation on the map. I, I'm I'm somewhat inclined to uh, to count that. 
<laughs> See, the black man, I actually kind of like those, uh, those NJT, like the seats on those, on those other NJT buses. Look, they're kind of nice. I don't know if LFS or is that the type of NJT bus that's used everywhere else, like those kind of local kind. Um, Jeremy, I'm aware of those trips. Um, those like, is that like the Q114, is it? Or 113, something like that? Or 111? All right, Jeremy says this isn't a deviation. I'll leave it up to him. We are, we're going like behind a shopping center right now. This, this, this does feel pretty weird. Oh, okay, Andrew says we're passing a 317 going the other way in a minute. I will keep note of that. What the heck? Okay, we're making a weird turn right now. I don't know. This, I, I think I'm gonna use executive power to call this a deviation. This is pretty weird. What are we doing? We're, we're behind a shopping center. This is, okay. And now we're looping. This is a deviation. No, I, executive decision. This is our sixth deviation. This is, this is so weird. We've kind of gone like around. That's a good point, Jeremy, but still. <laughs> we kind of looped. All right, so that is, I'm gonna, I think, what are we calling this? Is this deviation? This is deviation six, I believe. Still one jug handle. What a bizarre routing. Yeah, why isn't there a stop there? I think I think uh, someone was saying there's no stop in the shopping center. And now, oh, look at that! There's a Sonic over there. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't even know there were Sonics out here. There isn't a bus stop there. Interesting. Oh, I'm looking at my foot right now. Look at me. Um, okay. Funplex, what is that? After Kmart driveway and you went app. Oh my gosh, is that a Staten Island one? That's awful. What, what even is Staten Island? What a bizarre place. I remember, be, so I took the North Jersey coastline to get over to Asbury Park and, uh, oh, I didn't see other bus either. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. Um, yeah, I took I took North, the North Jersey coast, coastline to get to Asbury Park, and like it was so um, it was so funny because like I'm you know you, there's that one bit where you're kind of by the ocean. And I'm like, what's that over there? And it's literally just Staten Island, but it feels like you've gone so far. Um, oh yeah, the Academy Run buses. Have they gotten rid of all those? they still run a couple and don't those go out to new jersey like and then come back in um that's just like suburbia out here i think we're about to cross the new jersey turnpike actually i think i just saw a sign for it maybe or maybe just a sign for a road to the new jersey turnpike Yesterday night seems like a good route. Wait, okay, so what is Funplex? Also, the next stop is Rustland Trailer Park, interestingly. Uh, there's a pet boys across the street. Now, this just feels now like the, uh, Funplex is a weird, oop. That funplex is a weird thing. There's somewhere between a Chuck E. Cheese bowling alley and a full blown amusement park. That sounds really cool. Okay. The M98. Is that the overnight one? Which, which one is that? I, the bus for four hours on the Sim 24 was marked for MTA Maryland Commuter Bus Service. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've got the uh, the Penn Band. Um, charters out buses, um, like, but the Penn Band charters out academy buses when we go on like trips to other schools.
was used on the like the the blue line shuttle <laughs> um, which is kind of funny he's had like a wamada sticker on the front uh, so it's kind of fun to go to i don't remember where we were going on that but oh the n yes i do know that one yeah yeah, yeah. Doesn't, that one has like a that one has like a cult though like, doesn't that one have not a cult but like just like the people who ride it are very devoted to it aren't they I do remember the M98, yeah. I, like, I remember reading an article about how they cut the M98, or they tried to cut the M98, and like, the riders really got together to, to save it. Um, which, I don't know, does it get a lot of people? Oh yeah, the B-103 Limited does go on a highway, I think. That, that's a, such a weird one. I don't, I mean, that one's, that's a very interesting route. Like it is, when they say limited, they mean it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, the Q100 would be kind of interesting to ride up to uh, Rikers Island. Um, Nixel, what's the video idea? I'd be curious to ride the 103. Like the B103 seems like an interesting route. And I plan to be in Detroit anytime soon. Uh, I could be. What's in Detroit? I mean, I know the People Mover's not running right now. I'm pretty sure, and a tunnel bus isn't either. The M22 seems like a funny route. I think that might be a little further up, but like that's that's the that one is maybe it's the M22 that is the downtown one that like goes all over the place. Do I play the tuba or sousaphone? I suppose in this case. Um, also, Caleb, I uh, thank you for the red light spells danger. I appreciate that. Another red light. Speak of the devil. A random express highway Maryland route. That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, I love routes that like effectively deviate everywhere but then randomly go on the highway. Because I had no idea. Um, RM Transit ends a couple minutes ago. My, so my live stream sandwiches him, sandwiches his. That's really funny. Look at me, I have more endurance than RM Transit being out here on a bus. He's probably just in his little studio. I, I'm kidding for the record. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, uh, yes, the Q32. I did buy the Q32, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, the, the BX29 would be fun. Or the, the, what is it? The BXM. What's the express route that goes also up to City Island like once a day? Uh, 462 to Great Lakes Crossing. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look into that. Oh, Deviation 7 approaching. Okay, I'll, I'll keep them. <laughs> oh, classy. Well, I can't do the Iron Transit impression now. I gotta save it for for, for when I parody him. <laughs> Adam, I don't know where we are. Um, ben said we're about to deviate, so. Oh, yeah, the 29 looks awesome. Uh, City Island looks like such a bizarre place, and and also there's also those weird bits in Brooklyn, like the where the or like um like where the QM11 ends up. So it's Queens rather, but like you know um, kind of those weird bits by the A and like um, some of those interesting like Brooklyn beach towns. Like oh, all those places look so cool. The 29 looks fantastic, and then there's that Heart Island ferry that would be really fun to take on like the third Thursday of the month or whenever the heck it runs at like 9 a.m. Like that. That would be really interesting to ride. I think you're not allowed to take pictures on it. it does the BX29's ridership actually match the frequency? Like, ooh, also, ooh, we're deviating. What deviation is this? I think, I think we're deviating into a university. Look at all those parking lot lights.
that's too bad the tunnel uh the tunnel bus is gonna double to price that looks like a really cool roof um what deviation is this number six okay this is rowan college this is deviation seven um Caleb, I think Easter Sunday will just be a regular Sunday schedule on the commuter rail. Um, the Baltimore Free Harbor Connection System, that would be really fun. I've been, I've been on one of them. It's like such a cute little boat. Um, okay, wait, so this is, set, this is set, seven deviations and one jug handle. This is Rome College, yeah. Um, oh, they're going to cut back the BX-29? Where do they cut it back to? Pelham Bay to City On only. Oh, I guess that makes sense though. I mean, I, like, it's so redundant. There's so much redundant service from Co-op City. But I mean, I guess, you know, co -op, it's Co-op City, so it makes sense, but. Oh, what's the new bus route? Um, so we're just, we're in the middle of a college. Oh, here we go, yeah, Rome College. What's the BX-26 gonna do? Choose you go call for shower only, interesting. Yeah, hot rock capture speed room would be really fun, actually. I, I really like that idea. <laughs> I, I love that system too, even though it's rush hour only. It's just like, the ferries are wonderful. Q50 via 54321. Nice. That's like the different sectors of Co-op City, right? Morristown Mall. All right. I think that's another deviation too. Boscov's Garden Center. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I see a Hampton Inn over there. All right. We're returning to the main road here. Let's see. Ruby Tuesday, uh, the BX-18, that's the one that, isn't that already kind of a circular? That's the one that does that weird little loop, right? Hey, Penn Medicine. Two, three, four, five, okay. Classy Wheel, microtransit's really interesting. I. I think that it's, um, it's generally, like, it's, it's really good to use for certain things, and, oh, is this the NJ Turnpike? I think this is the, uh, it's either 295 or the NJ Turnpike, just for what it's worth. Um, yeah, so microtransit, it's really useful for, like, specifically, um, I feel like it's really useful for kind of when you are in a rural or like extremely suburban area um, where that's just like the most efficient way to serve everything. Um, but it's like, like I know LA has been deploying it like in urban areas and that doesn't make any sense to me. Like I, it'd be way better to put those resources on the regular routes. Um, but, um, and like SEPTA had one that ran overnight. If you saw the overnight SEPTA video like that, should have been really useful. The set didn't run it well, but like, like that would have been really useful. That's a good use for it. Um, oh, so they're turning the BX-18 into a loop. Okay, gotcha. Um, and let me see, I'm catching up on chat. Would I go to Japan for the, Shinkan the Shinkansen? Yeah, I totally would, that'd be awesome. Um, 295, okay. Ah, the Elmont Flex. Isn't it the Elmont Flexi? Doesn't it? Don't they have like an eye on the end? Isn't that like something that nice does? Michael says Uber with non sketchy official employees. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. <laughs> I know, Jeremy. It's like the, the overnight, the owl link should have been a slam dunk, but it totally wasn't. I mean, it's just the way they might. Like the, the, the driver I had on was really nice, but it's just like. I think it's just the way that you were forced to ride it. 
Yeah, see, hello, I, I, I could do New York overnight, but I just feel like it's not that interesting because you do it easily. Like, I think it'd have to be, there'd have to be another challenge to it, like going to all the boroughs or something. Um, I think that would have to be, like, the, there'd have to be an additional challenge because New York is just it's such an expansive night network. Um, the the funny one is that it's possible to do in Cleveland. I would love to do that. That would be so cool. I love that you, you can ride Cleveland's transit system all night without having to like double back. Um, um, American Rail Club. No, I don't watch that, Adam. I've never heard of it. The Maryland MTA 201 from BWI to Gaithersburg. Oh, fascinating. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, Jeremy, yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, any limited stop bus route is local. Any express train, for the most part, is local. Um, although, does, I don't think the, does the Sim 1 run all night? I guess that's still an express bus. Um, all modes and all boroughs. Yeah, that's true. Does Rolling Island Tram run all night? A shuttle, five shuttle, R shuttle, and M shuttles. Okay. Every NYC ferry, that'd be a fun speed run, actually. I, I really. Today, and you could get use like. Yeah, I will. I will have to keep that in mind. I, I need to like keep like notes going on here. Is that, that that's a very good that and the Baltimore Harbor connector, all ferries. Interesting. Um, oh, we're the westernmost three seventeen. Okay. Rolling Island runs all night. Oh, that'd be cool to run it right at like three a.m. Um, yeah, the only express I can think is the, the the three runs express at night, doesn't it? But only to Times Square. NYC launched a route to Staten Island. That's so funny. But it goes to Midtown, right? Classy wheel. I rode. I I rode the. Um, I tried to ride it, and it was really funny because the boat conked out as we left the dock. So they brought the boat back. It was me and my friend were the only people on it. We get back, and they're like, they're like, oh, we're sorry, the boat's conked out. So we'll give you a full refund, and then we'll give you money for an Uber across the river. That should be what, like thirty dollars. So they gave us thirty bucks in cash. To, to take an Uber across the river. So we like profited from our trip on the ferry and I've never done it since. That was, that was, a, that was a very funny situation. We're taking a left here. Least use Roosevelt Tramway Station, yeah. Um, oh, the F is expressed overnight. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, the NYC ferry, I... I, I that would be really fun to do all of. I love that idea. Um, also, this is a deviation. We're turning Morristown Nursing Facility. What are we doing, guys? Is this a deviation? Exactly. It's like, like they could have given us a Paco ticket for barely any money, but I love they paid us for the Uber. Um, people who are following the route. Yeah, that was the Cannon Ferry. People that are following the route. Is this a deviation? Deviation 8. All right. Drug handle 1. Jeremy, the A shuttle is interesting because they take a train and split it into two halves and run that one train in two pieces. Wait, what does that mean? Like, does it actually split somewhere? Like, does, and, and like, you have to like be in the front four cars go somewhere and in the back four cars or something? Yeah, I just started to rattle the 59. I know, will we make it to 13? This route definitely has length on its side. It's so long. There's a little shopping center. Now we're another red light. Have you ever wondered, like, you know, like, Cash Cab? It's like, it'd be really funny um, 
if someone was like doing an insanely long trip in the cash cab and just had like a ton of opportunities to get money. I don't know why I thought of that. Just, that's that's a fun show. Take an eight or car, eight or ten car train at Lefferts and uncouple it. Okay, like with riders on. Take a bus across every bridge or tunnel in New York. Ooh. Yeah, there's that one MJT bus that uses the Holland Tunnel, so I guess it would be possible. Which actually, that 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 MJT bus would be fun to ride too. Um, oh, okay, we're turning again. Um, they run each half. Oh, oh, that's really funny. Okay, so they're just like kind of short trains. Gotcha. Oh, that's really cool. Um, the three strikes rule in Cash Cab. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you have to be very good at the game. Yeah, JG77, I think you could, if you started, because I've looked into this before, if you start in uh, Martinsburg, there's a bus you can take from uh, Brunswick up to Frederick, I believe, that runs rush hour. In typical New Jersey, the former Lord and Taylor at the Moortown Mall on your right becomes a vaccine mega site. But I guess here's a here's a boss cause and a really nice uh, little station here. Someone just got off. No ones. Um Oh, Brooklyn Battery. All right, that one might not have buses. And I guess the Brooklyn Bridge you'd have to walk over, obviously. But I got yeah, Brooklyn Battery. If, it's, if that's bus, doesn't, there's no way to do that. Do they not run? They don't run like expresses from like Staten Island to like downtown by the Brooklyn Battery. Oh, the Whitestone, that's true. Does that one have a pedestrian path? Hey, Dat, Crane, Dat, Dat Train Crew. Uh, World Transit, we are at the Morristown Mall right now. Every New York transit bus with bike racks. Bike racks. Is that, um, that's Staten Island, right? <clears throat> um, yeah, I think we're going for time here. Um, Adam, yeah, I actually, I did take every, uh, DC Metro line a day. It was in a blog post. It wasn't in a video. Um, I should have videoed it even at the time. I wasn't doing so many videos, but. Oh, so I was using Manhattan Bridge. All right. I feel like I have a memory of taking a bus through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, but I guess I might be wrong. How long until our final destination? That's a good question. That's, well, we're supposed to get there at 725. What time is it now? 6.49, so that's about 35 minutes. <laughs> My Red Sox fan? I guess ostensibly. I mean, I, I don't really follow sports, so, like, I'd probably represent, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, Yeah, so then the Bronx, the Bronx Whitestone Bridge sounds like it'd be the hardest one to uh, to do. If you were doing the mock challenge, you do Martinsburg, DC, Perryville, Baltimore. Oh, yeah. I guess if you want to spend the night in a couple of places. Oh, tons of expressions through the tunnel. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, so is it the Bronx? So the, the Whitestone Bridge would be the only, like the only one that's... Because you could take stuff over the George Washington Bridge. Well, I guess, do you count, like, the ones going into, like, the Bronx? Like, the ones from, like, Manhattan to Bronx that are all, like, kind of little? It'd be hard to do. Interesting. Like, what, what qualifies as a bridge or tunnel? And how would you do, um, oh yeah, okay, I guess, right, stuff used to Queens Midtown, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Throg's Neck, Throg's Neck. Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. One of the two redundant 
Bronx ones that Robert Moses built. Uh, yeah, so, okay. We just, we need to get like the, the bus system map so I'm really curious. All right, we're heading out. Right, but the Manhattan, you could ride a train over. I think that, I think that would count. That'd be okay. Same with the uh, the Williamsburg. I think would be would would like riding the Jay Z would be would be acceptable. Although the B thirty nine would be more fun. Every subway on the Montreal Metro. I will be doing that when I go to Montreal. Here's uh, here's the mall. Oh so, wait, Jeremy, what uses the Throgsack? Baltimore to Harrisburg by a local transit only. I, I know someone who did that. I, I would love to do that. It, it wouldn't be that hard. So I assume you're thinking of like using the rabbit transit buses, right? Okay. We're also following another JT bus. <laughs> the bridges to Randall's Island. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Well, what about... um? Does the bridge to Rikers Island count? <laughs> Dog's like has nothing, okay. Well, that's the hard part. We're not early, okay. Yeah, I don't... I guess we're probably not. I'm sure, like, the stream's a little behind, too. Yeah, classy wheel. It's totally in your wheelhouse. That's, like... That's so much in your, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only problem with the ball going to Hasbro, exactly. Um, um, although, so is there, is there like a, is there a way to walk over the Throg's Neck? Like, do the, is there a pedestrian path? Cause I know that, um, like Brooklyn, you could walk over. Right, like you can do George Washington. Um, do all the Staten Island bridges have them? Like Outer Bridge, I guess the 89 uses the one. Does Go Gothels, is that the one? That is the one that goes up to uh, Bayonne, isn't it? So I think it's card only, oh, car only rather, shoot. Well, I guess that means that it's a valiant effort. A valiant effort. <laughs> Jeez. Stupid Robert Moses. We can all agree that he wasn't the best. More malls going yeah. on here. Massive gas station. Is that a Wawa? Mm -hmm. I guess it's a um, no outer bridge. Okay, yeah, because that one's kind of far out. That makes sense. That's so sad about Throg's Neck. It's like, so close. Oh, we're turning. The one that goes to Bayonne is the Bayonne Bridge. All right, well, that, that makes sense. <laughs> there are buses that go over the Tappan Zee Bridge. Yeah, that's, that had its own like system. See, this is this is kind of nice. Like, um, there definitely be more wallows than that, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, it would be a fun challenge. Yeah, it's getting all the bridges that we can. Um, deviation eight just ended. Did we did we count that separately? Uh, right, no, that was yeah, right. Deviation eight, yeah, that makes sense. Um, So, yeah, see, this is, I'm glad that the sun fell, you know, the sun fell at a decent time because now we're kind of in suburbia where things lit up. <laughs> oh, geez, Jeremy, I don't know about hitchhiking. Uh, but the, pretzel, the pretzel pilgrimage was the first and last time I ever want to do that. The bridge is from Brooklyn to Queens. Am I missing something? Like, because... Queensboro Bridge has the Q 
you oh the oh is that the well the b does the b28 use that like the the brooklyn boomerang or whatever that gets a bunch of them right well two of them that's a pretty fun route Uh, how much of this street? Oh, B24, sorry. Um, there's a uh, stream recently has been getting into the weeds with NYC buses. Quite fun. It'll be fun to rewatch on YouTube for the people who missed this, I'm sure. The ridiculously long live stream that no one will watch. Um. Yeah, bike versus bus challenges are always fun. I those the one I did with uh, Classy Wheel. Uh, I guess a while back now, but that was a fun video. Trading post stereo video in Comic Sans, nice. See, this this is like this is what I think of when I. Um, this is what I think of when I think of self jersey, and it's just so. So terrible. All the underwater subway tunnels. Yeah, that'd be a good one too. Oh, so much. MBT 1234, we are, we are now deep in the Philadelphia suburbs. Just kind of cruising along. Bus from White Plains to suffer, really. Every subway water going, man. Would be interesting. Um, I mean, there aren't that many of them. Either. Although I guess does like the A out in you know Rockaway count? So I guess that's kind of there's a lot going on out there. Oh. Another Wawa right at McDonald's. liquor store trying to be old timey. I don't know if you can see that dumb font. Um, is the 77 the one that goes really far north? Uh, no, Michael, there's no uh, no restroom on this coach. Um, yeah, Jeremy, I thought about doing um, I thought about doing a trip from like because um, if you remember It'd be really fun to do a trip from like um, whatever the northern end of the 77 is to um, uh, what is it, Patchogue? I think is the furthest out you can go on on uh, on SCT using like a transfer from from Nice, you know. So like doing the longest distance you can do with with one, or, or rather using entirely um, Metro cards. Like you can make it out to Patchogue, I think. Also, we are making a stop. We're getting... See we... Oh. Someone's getting on. Of course, it's NJT, so like, paying for the trip is a exercise in itself. Yeah, we're getting, we're having at least one on, possibly more. Ooh. What's the idea, Jeremy? Adam, we're, we're getting close to Camden. We're not quite there. All right, one, two, three. Three ons, three ons. That puts us at uh, 11, 11 riders, wow. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, long falls during one single, that would be really fun. Yeah, like eight of far rock away from, you know, or like 
some are crazy. Yeah, was that nice double encoded transfer the reason that in that cheapest way to Long Island video I was able to get like super far out? Ooh, Chuck E. Cheese. Ooh, Cherry Hill Mall. Do we deviate to that? I know, three whole lawns. As many islands as possible in the NYC area in one day. Interesting. Yeah, I guess you could. Like, Heart, Heart Island would be kind of funny to include, although that's like a, that's a whole affair. <clears throat> Pedestrian Bridge just announces the stop. Um, but yeah, like, Staten, Staten Island, I suppose, Manhattan, uh, Long Island, I suppose, uh, Governor's Island, Liberty Island, Roosevelt Island. Um, we're almost two minutes late, wow. Okay, so we don't deviate into the mall, okay. Yeah, we just passed it. Fair enough. I've never been to the Cherry Hill Mall either. All right, still solidly at eight deviations. And I mean, when, when you think of Cherry Hill, I feel like this is pretty much what comes to your head, this suburbia on a strode. Ooh, next is Camden, okay. That would be, that would be surely a deviation. Oh, City Island and Rikers Island, yeah, good one. Um, yeah, we are just stroding it up right now. Everyone loves strodes. <laughs> New Jersey, New Jersey has to be the strode capital of the world, right? Like South Jersey, like, oh my gosh. Bull Plus used to go to the Cherry Hill Mall. I didn't know that. The Interboro Express, that's awesome. That should happen. It's a, it's a really great, like, that would be a fantastic line. And they have better, you know, cross Brooklyn, Queens. Go by a Walmart. And indeed, it's another Wawa. <laughs> um, Philly to Boston via Commuter Rail and Lakeshore Limited. Well, I guess. I mean, wouldn't it be more fun to do via, like, just Commuter Rail? I want to do, like, Spotsylvania to Boston using only Commuter Rail. <clears throat> or Cumulol and then whatever buses you need to get in between stuff, but. Haha, <laughs> thank you very much for the blessed use in Gazoo Nights. No, I know that, Adam, but like New Jersey, South Jersey has so many of them. Like, I think it's kind of a stroge per capita situation, you know. Washington to Boston via local buses. I have a spreadsheet. I want to do it someday. <laughs> And, and that would be like a live tweet situation. That would be really cool. Alright, we're kind of struggling. Oh, there's like a lot of traffic right now. Why is there so much traffic? Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, Classy, well, I want... I, oh, wow. There's a lot of traffic right now. Perhaps we'll be even later. Um... Yeah, so Philly race, I want to do the great race to the South Philadelphia, uh, South Philadelphia Ikea. I think that'd be really interesting. Because there's a lot of different ways you can get there. Um, and also, um, Sam and I are looking into a, um, into a race in New York. Um, that'd be really fun too. And that could probably get a lot more people. I feel like New York is... Did Jules do local local buses or did you do local transit? I think you did local transit, right? I want to do like entirely local buses. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah, the traffic, there's also like sirens up there, so there might, or, or like flashing lights, so there might be doing road work or something. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, Jeremy, wish they would be an option. I mean, I was, I was just thinking like from Penn or something. So you kind of are forcing people on aisle, like the trolleys or the Market Frankfurt line. You kind of include more modes that way. <laughs> from wish they would be kind of funny. But I, I feel like the races, I tend to like to start in like a real place. Um, yeah, New York, I found a pretty good spot that would lead to some interesting, uh, lead to some interesting race ideas or like just like interesting modes uh it was like queens queens community college or something like that there's like ways you can go like long island railroad buses like both feel like jamaica and flushing um i mean i remember having a lot of opportunities for intrigue um because ultimately the goal for a race is to go somewhere that's not subway accessible so you can kind of force people on in interesting ways Um, oh, I still got to ride the, uh, the bus from Springfield to, um, to, uh, to, or from Amherst to Worcester, rather. Great race to Lancaster with no Keystone allowed. Oh my gosh. Do you have to, you have to hitchhike? Is there any other way to do it? Or I have to walk. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we're passing, I think we're passing the police car causing this. <laughs> Roosevelt Island tram, that would be funny. Okay, it's Roosevelt Island. Police. Police. Oh, what is this? Is there a crash or something? Uh, oh, it was a crash. <laughs> well, traffic's fine now. Dangers of a strode, I guess. Great race to Frankfurt Terminal. Yeah, but like, well, see, the thing with like, like, with like, ones that I, I don't like, I don't like the idea of doing great race because the fastest way is always the subway. Um, it's more fun to do it to like kind of like Franklin Park or Chelsea, where there's like, there's not a very good connection. Great race to Auntie Anne's, yeah. Well, that's true, Aaron. You could go via Baltimore, I forgot. No, we just went past the, the thing. Lower anthracite transistor. I think I've heard of that one. That's one with just the Facebook page, yeah. Appalachian Trail Race. That'd be hard to get people to want to do that. Come to Toronto. I'll be there for like four hours. If all goes to plan. I won't be there for that long. And that's cool, Ladner. Yeah, during, I have a Porter Airlines layover in Toronto, so if everything goes according to plan, um, I just want to do like as many modes as possible in the time. Great race to Fairmount Park. That'd be interesting. I do, yeah, I wonder like, yeah, where in Fairmount Park with the, that is an interesting idea. And anyway, I, I gotta look into more Philly races and also just see what the turnout is like for like whatever first one we do. South Florida Fairmont Park, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that would be interesting. Um, oh. Oh, I, th I got excited. I thought we were drug handling for a sec, but we're just kind of on a weird road. Still more suburbia. Um, a rent-a-car place with no cars. Or <laughs> very few. Great race to Norristown. Um, I know that, yeah, that's true. Um, I was thinking about doing Great Race to King of Prussia. Um, Cause you kind of have a couple different ways of doing that. Um, but I guess the 124, 125 kind of screw with it. Cause they're so, I mean, they're, they're fast, you know? I mean, if it was a rush hour, it'd be different. Um, and then like, Great Race to Chestnut Hill is surprisingly competitive. Um, you kind of have, uh, you can take like the L bus, like Broad Street Line Express to L bus versus 23 from Erie versus Regional Rail, both east and west. So like there's a lot of opportunities with Chestnut Hill. Um, great race to Westchester. I think there's only like one content claim. I know. 
Yeah, oh, oh well. Haha. <laughs> That's interesting, JG, yeah. I, um... I want to do, like... I want to... I, wa I was trying to look into, like, doing a bunch of different Camden, like... Um... Camden, like... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I don't know why I'm saying Camden. A bunch of, uh... Trying to visit a bunch of Amtrak stops, but, like... It's kind of hard to do a bunch in one day. I'm curious to Fox Chase, that would be interesting. Yeah, exactly, Jeremy. Or, or like whatever. Ooh. 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 Hello. Is this a drug? This is a drug handle. Drug handle. Drug handle two. This is also. Oh, wait. I'm so glad. Finally got a drug handle. Heading up onto this road. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're count counting that. Um, so doing a jug panel, we're now deviating to Camden. So that would be, is that deviation nine? Um, oh yeah, KOP rail is really stupid. Jackson, we are almost in Camden, so we're quite close. That's our final jug handle, huh? Okay. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, Jeremy, are you really counting, like, drug panels specifically to, like... Oh... Uh... I see, I see, okay. So, deviation nine, okay. Yep, we're in, we're in Camden now. I'm curious, um... I'm curious how much the bus will empty out at Walter Rand. Um, yeah, no, Camp Pressure Rail is really annoying. Ooh! There's a river line over there, I don't know if you see it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, drug, drug handles are very much a New Jersey thing then. Sadly, well, maybe it's passed us already. I don't know. Here it is. We're racing the river line. And we are beating the river line. <laughs> The line is wonderful. All right. Uh, all for Walter Rand. This journey's almost over, everyone. There's the inside of it. And then we're gonna stop outside. Ooh, Floyd Bennett Field, that is interesting. That would be pretty cool. That's such a weird area, too. Oh no, the river line is beating us. Dang. Deservedly so, granted. Goodbye, river line. Yeah, you, um, I think that's the red and blue lights are just like the one cop car that's always stationed here because it's just like they're, they're just like intimidating people. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, ben says we're right on time. That's good. What time is it? 7.15? Hey, about that. Although we've yet to actually turn to get into the Walter Rand Transportation Center, so we might end up being a minute or two late. We'll see. Um, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I, Floyd Bennett would be interesting. I, I, I kind of want to look into that. Also, my battery's at 69% for anyone who wants to joke about that.
We are. We have. How long we've been in this red light? Oh, here we go. Uh, no, Walter Man. So this is all deviation now. Now this counts as a separate deviation. We're turning in. Yep. Here's the pandemonium. And any normal person would have spent nine seventy five to get here, but I spent twelve dollars more just to cross the bridge into Philly. Because of course. No, it's gonna be a race. We're gonna do a race to Medford Square when the whole thing opens. Right, let's see. There's two other people on this bus who have gone all the way from Asbury Park to Philly, interestingly. So I'm not the only one who did the entire thing. That is very funny. I did not expect... Oh, someone's getting on. That is 12. Hang on. There might be multiple people getting on. See, in a real in a real video I'd edit this part out where I'm just like looking at people trying to count. Yeah, there have been two other people on since Asbury Park. One, two. Two people have gotten on. Possibly more. Thanks, Sarah. Um, oh, next, I didn't realize there are two more shops in New Jersey. I, some, I mean, at this point, I somehow doubt that. I feel like Philly's kind of the last major place, but we'll see. All right. All right, three. Oh, someone else getting on? I think there were three ons here in uh, Camden, which brings us up to 15. 15 total riders. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I like how people are like, coming back after so long. <laughs> I know, Jackson could get a whole haircut and he's still able to come back and see it. All right, we're off. So we've had uh, one, two, three, four. There's now five people on the bus. We've had a total of 12, uh, 15 rather. 15 total rides. I doubt we'll get more, but we'll see. All right, two more stops. We will see. Kind of going past this police car now. Crown chicken. Oh, thanks, Richard. Have you been here the whole time? I, I appreciate that. Yeah, anyone's been here the whole time, thank you so much. I mean, that is serious dedication. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, no, this bus does not make local stops on Market Street. It, um, it just kind of goes straight to the Greyhound station. <laughs> All right, Jeremy. I, yeah, I... I, I I'll take you up on that. I might do that. I want to do the S92 as well. Wow, Philly's next. I can't believe it. This, this, I mean, it flew by. It's been so much fun. Thanks, Adner. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. And thanks, James. I really appreciate it. I keep saying the same thing. I'm sorry. But, like, seriously, thank you. Thank you to the people. Like, I mean, really anyone who came here. Like, that, this is, like literally just me talking on a bus like it's not interesting so the fact that anyone showed up is incredible like thank you so much um, okay so there's Broadway and Cooper making our way oh thanks MBT1234 <laughs> um, the final Saturday exactly thanks Andrew I really appreciate it 
That's totally okay, Nixel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> Andrew, you you probably deserve sleep. This is this is this. I'm sure this has been a sleep-inducing trip. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. A full meal. Oh my gosh. One K subs. I know. Thanks, JD. It's really insane to think about. Jeremy, we did come up with five, like five videos. I know. I we need to like someone remind me of what they are so I can like remember. <laughs> Um, Shadow Fox, that's impressive. All right. So the Camden Toll is in sight. Kind of coming around here, the Bridge Plaza. And we'll be Sea Philly in the distance. We're almost there. Also, I have to say, the service was not terrible most of the time. Like, I'm very impressed with my phone. Thanks, Jeremy. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, please do that. Um, yeah, Andrew, take a nap. You deserve it. Um, yeah, this, um, this trip, uh, I, I'm very surprised that the service was decent. You know, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, Bob, Bob, it's, I, I honestly recommend it. It's, it's, it's a pretty interesting cross section of New Jersey. You start at the shore, you get like middle of nowhere woods and farms in the middle, and you get like kind of Camden, you get like suburbia, you get Philly. Honestly, a really cool route. I'll switch to the exterior camera here as we cross the uh, Ben Franklin Bridge. Next stop, Tent of Filbert. Coastline, like Amtrak off North Jersey coastline down. Andrew, um, you can ride from Camden to Philly. I don't, it's not that much. I don't remember how much it is. I don't know why it's so much more expensive. Um, but yeah, right. Oh, yeah, this is the unique section of the route that will end. This section of the route will end tomorrow. So it's the last time I think. job for sure. I actually might unplug it now. My phone is at percent. Alright, let me post train to Asbury Park is definitely cheaper than taking the bus all the way, I'm pretty sure. Um if I remember correctly, it's like um Uh, I'm pretty sure it's cheaper. It's like it's like nine seventy five from Trenton. And Sept is ten, so it's like nine seventy five. Yeah. The dots are terrible. Oh, um phone is at uh seventy one percent. That was like when it was sitting here charging for a while. I'm gonna just put my just put my water in my bag and pack it up, and then I'll show the view out again. Okay. All right. Dependence Hall says that sign. This is this is the last weekend this bus will be in Philly. I did not even intend for that to happen, but that is exciting. You by taking Patco, I would have saved. Um, 
would have cost 11.15. So I would have saved about 11 bucks. <laughs> All of Montreal's buses have dots? Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Oh no. Well, I'm excited to experience that. Ooh, we're kind of looping around here. Going around. With the upcoming service change that happened last week, that would have stunk. I'm, I'm glad I wrote it when I did. And I seriously did not know that was happening. It was just so sudden. Nice light under the bridge. Here's Franklin Square. All lit up. Skyline. So we a little while before we actually get to the Greyhound City. Oh yeah, Jeremy, this is a deviation. Uh, we yeah, we should kind of, the deviation into the <laughs> into the bus terminal. Whatever number that is. Is that 10? Even 10? Richard, this route is about 90 miles, I believe. I don't remember the exact number off the top of my head, but it's something like 90. W-H-Y-Y um, place. Yeah, it's deviation 10, because we also count it as very popular deviation. The red light. We're so close. Is the Paris Metro similar to the Montreal Metro? I I I think I think so. I, I've never been on it either. Alright, here we go. Turning on to uh, oh, Filbert, I think. Yeah, it's not an essential. Head over to the bus terminal. Oh, beautiful parking right downtown. I'm sorry. Look at me, such knowledge of Philly. We're decently near the Disney World. It's a couple blocks down uh, that way. It's on. It's that market name. It's a local block. Up. Another parking lot, but it has some pretty shelters outside. <laughs> have some pretty uh, sculptures outside, so there you go. It's not bad parking anymore, right? Just kind of crawling through the streets of Philly. Did I say Philburn? I meant Philbert. Why did the bus go to 30th Street Station? Uh, I mean, it's already trafficked enough as it is. Are we running late? What's the timing? 7.30? Ooh, we're late. Very nice. I have no idea. I don't know if anyone will meet me or not. I'm gonna zip up my coat. Cause 
Jackson lives in South Philly, so it would be kind of a hike to get up here. Uh, Cody, that's a really good question. <laughs> Alright, turning on a 10. Wrong roll. Struggling with the turn. Nope, trying to make it. It's a biker trying to get by, too. Oh, uh, man. Oh. Tough turn here. There's like a ton of traffic on all sides. Alright, we made it. Yes, it's 10. Um. Alright, pulling in. Greyhound Terminal. <clears throat> I misjudged which side of the phone the camera's on. Seven thirty two and we left at three fifty four. Someone do the math. 354 to 732, that's some amount of time. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Excuse me? Yeah? Can you get to the market line? Yeah, um, if you walk basically just through the terminal and then um, go. If you find any street going uh, like this way, just go down to Market Street and then you'll, you'll still see it. There it goes, 19140. At 11 minutes of schedule trip time, okay, so that means it was uh, three hours and 36 minutes. Wow. Alright, well there it goes. His day is probably done. Okay. Well, we have done it. The 317, what I would call the longest. And oh, look, there's another. Oh, hang on. I'll go. Let me just go in here. There's another 317, but it's only going as far as Lakewood. Um, the 319 is an express bus though, that's the thing. This is the, what I would call the longest local bus route on the East Coast, I think. <laughs> it's all subjective, right? So, I guess, I guess that's it. Um, I have to say that went far better than, um, than I would have expected. <laughs> Let me get outside first, and then I'll, I'll say things. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Andrew. All right. Yeah, that's the last time we'll see those NJT buses on and uh, at that station. I think, the, oh, the stream must be really behind, because you're all talking about me giving that, those two people directions. Those are the two people that went from um, Asbury Park to here, actually, which is kind of cool. They did the whole trip. Oh, hello world. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, wait. So that brings us so how much did the trip cost then? We were at we were at 1701 336. I have to like do the math. 1701 1615 14 1335 uh, 13 uh 13 uh I can't 1365 1365 Thanks to, thanks to the donations. Thank you so much. We've shaved off 
almost half. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, really, really cool. Thank you so much. Um, this actually might be my bus, hang on. Here's the 317 again. Well, heading home, 19140. Running that yellow light, heck yeah. Thanks everyone. Ah, oh, thank you, Cody. Okay, wait, 1365, now it's 12, 12, uh, geez, I, I can't do math. 1266, 1266. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. You are, you guys are all fantastic, and I thank you for, for um, keeping keeping me engaged and, and helping me keep you engaged it's a symbiotic relationship type thing uh <laughs> seriously thank you so much um yeah mom the dining hall is still open i'm gonna I'll get dinner um so okay i'm i'm gonna call it off here i think head to the market frankfurt line well yeah i'll walk i'll walk everyone to market street so Oh, Anthony, thank you so much. Four ninety nine. Ah, wait. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Twelve sixty six. Now it's eleven ten nine eight seven 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 uh, sixty seven. That's a nice number. Seven sixty seven. I re thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're all fantastic. Oh, now there's some some energy going on here. All right. Well, I'll leave it at that, everyone. Um, thank you so much for helping me uh, get from. I mean, I can't. We came from Asbury Park. Oh, Jack, thank you. Oh. Um. Okay, wait. Seven six seven six. Oh, guys, you're. Oh, thank you so much. Six. Uh, six sixty eight, and then. 468. Thank you so much. Four, that's insane. That's insane. Thank you so much. Gary and Jack, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm now at Market Street. We've come here on one bus. That is insane and very cool. It is a 33. Got SEPTA now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I love Philly. All right. Well, got a nice view of City Hall here. I think I've been going for what appears to be three hours and 47 minutes, um, which is quite a long time. So, oh, Je <laughs> oh Jeremy, thank you so much. And I'm, oh, I really appreciate it. All right, so what's negative? I've now made a profit of <laughs> Well, okay, YouTube takes taxes, so let's let's call it even. We'll call it an even twenty-two fifty. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys are fantastic. And wow, I can't thank you enough. This has been so much fun. And and yeah, I I, I I'm getting sentimental. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> That's true, Aaron. I did have to get. To, I did have to pay to get to Asbury Park, but that's okay. <laughs> it's seriously all worth it for for all you guys and just just all these fun adventures and getting to entertain everyone. It's, it's so much fun. So, and there's a there's a cab driving in the bus lane. Um, <laughs> all right, everyone. I'm gonna head out, go home, get dinner, and work on a paper that I have to finish by Sunday. <laughs> Sunday at 10. Can you believe that? Sunday at 10 with no late submissions. That is evil. Um, but yeah. Okay. Oh, goodbye, Blind. I really appreciate it. Richard, Jeremy, Gary. Have a good night. Enjoy your Saturday. Bye.